Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LBLCS. I'm your host, Buggleberry Finn, joined by the extremely physically fit Les Force, uh, who I think just got done doing his... Uh, what kind of workout were you doing today, Les Force? Oh, Les Force, one second before you start. Uh, Coriander fans at home. There we go. Thank you for doing that. Uh, I was actually doing a just a hardcore uh, stair crawl routine uh, up and down <sighs> the stairs about... 750 times uh, that's how i start my mornings it yep. took about two and a half hours so i am exhausted but so ready for this series you're exhausted you lost yours i personally in my home have done something completely different i've just put in slides slides and ladders i gotta you know much more efficient you know save a lot of time it's actually going probably, downstairs it's probably time. with large heavy boxes is sometimes dangerous but it is a lot easier um mm -hmm. And going up though might be a challenge. I did see that you exposed my chair status to the world. Which well, we'll get into. I was hoping later. you weren't looking at chat. I was, I was kind of under the assumption you were you were busy finding a chair. Well, I was carrying it down my slide when you, <laughs> when you uh, put it up there. We got a um, we got a link already. I don't think they're gonna start drafting this second, but we did get a link. Put that on up. For the fans at home now, Les Force, you've got a lot on the line uh, socially in this game uh, because technically you're the org owner for Team Volatility, right? So, I mean, what's going this, on? The, Nick, you're going to have to cast and be like, who do you think is going to win this? Oh, man. So it's already well known by the, the members of Team Volatility that I hate the academy team just as a whole you know, i refuse to give them acknowledgement <laughs> during the season nice. uh in my write-ups I, I wouldn't talk about them because i didn't want to come off as biased which in turn made them think i hate them so Smart. so take notes if you ever consider joining uh team volatility that i will not give you any respect well team volatility, the, ac the academy team right That's oh this the... is true only the only the academy if you're right. on my squad then you get he all will the buy you world. popsicles and fun little treats if you're on the upper team but lower team won't even know oh you're getting called cute in chat right now that's good that's nice that is my my boy bear tv captain of high alert who is very excited to see who wins the series as they're going to be taking on the winner of this series uh, high alert that is so back to the original question though i think this is going to be a three game banger i think both of these teams are too mm -hmm. good yeah just too well i think i ultimately give the slight edge to uh panther core which again confirms my hatred for tva uh but I think there's a lot of experience on Panther Core side. You've got Andy Fraud, formerly known as Andy Gwen, Verja, Slothman. They've played a lot of games together. Absolutely. So I think that in playoffs, it is just a different environment. And when they've won, uh, they've won commercial. I think it was uh, season eight together. So I think that that's going to prove to be a big challenge for TVA. But I certainly think that TVA can beat them. Yes, yeah, Slothman, a uh, very decorated member of the community here in the LBLCS. Uh, I see that we have some people already joined the community chat. I see that we've got one team in the call here. Uh, so we should be we should be rocking and rolling pretty quickly. Now, there are six members of Panther Court. Uh, and so we may see ADC switches if they lose games. Even if they win games, these guys might be rotating in different people here. So I think that's something to keep an eye on. But with who they have set up right now, they've got Andy Fraud up in the top lane, Bill in the jungle, Blue Moon, Jelly in the mid, Verja, and Slothman taking on the bot in ADC roles um, with the support as Slothman. What do we know about these guys? What are you expecting to see come draft time? So I think in this series, you're going to see a ton of Gwen Pryo, uh, both Rap Jr. and Andy Fraud. I uh, love the champion. So I wouldn't be surprised if it just gets banned out in every game. Uh, but if it's not, I think it's for sure something they're going to look to pick early. I think on TVA, there's a good chance you're going to see an early uh, Varus. Um, it's a pretty big flex for him, which you would think would primarily go to the ADC. But uh, but Vagar actually plays primarily AP Varus mid. So that's something that I hope uh, Panther Core has scouted out. I think, I think the bot lane is going to be really... No pun intended, but volatile. I think yep. uh, Virgin and Slothman... They can kind of do it all. They can play the sit back and scale and chancer style comps, or they can play the we're going to go in and just, you know, 100 to 0 you. And with the new item reworks, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe they're cooking up like a Kaisa Leona, uh, you know, maybe like a 
like a Nautilus, an Alisar, something that just wants to go in and get in your face. Well, there's some changes and... to Green Seas, right? There's some changes to some other items too. So are we going to see maybe a different the solo matchups as well? Uh, you talked a little bit about that top lane over that mid lane. Are we, are we going to see any strange little picks coming out in the semifinals? I cannot disclose the spicy picks that could potentially come out okay. from uh, from Vagar on TVA. I know that there was some talk about um, other ABCs going to the mid lane. I heard about a uh, about a, a call of the Forge God that might be coming to the mid lane. Wow! But I don't know if they're actually going to pull it out. I think we're here in semifinals and. Yes, you you want to get familiar with the new items and experiment, but you also don't want to like stray too far right, from what right. got you to this point. No, so I'm interested to see like what they decide to pull out here. Yeah, it looks like they are uh, getting ready to start draft right now too. So we should be jumping in in just a second. Uh, if you are playing along at home, usually when Panther Core gets to semifinals or if they ever get to finals, there's a lot of schmeckles drop. So keep your eyes. On the schmeckles when, when we unleash the, the betting here because uh this could be a an afternoon to win big and then you could spend those again tonight because we got another stream tonight too yeah we are we are kicking off the early slate of games here kind of got that that red zone vibe going we got you know the two o'clock slate a little bit of a break i think our next games are what it's seven o'clock although the, that one's not being streamed but hopefully hopefully some people can tune into community and we can uh support the executive finals yeah we've got uh a lot of LBLCS games being played today. Only two of the series are going to be streamed. Um, this is one of them. And you're here. And you've made it. And you're listening. And these are the words I'm saying right now at 2.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Couldn't have said it better myself. Looks Thank like you. we are getting started with the draft. I did say streamers are ready. So hopefully, hopefully you were ready. I was ready. Sandra going to be banned away first, it looks like. And it is. Yeah, like I said, I uh, for sure sure think we see Gwen, and there's the Varus. Hope, <laughs> hopefully PCR wasn't listening to the uh, the comms there. If so, my work's not gonna be too happy with me after that one. I but, think that I, I think, think that was a pick that's been huge because of the yeah. changes as well. Yeah. So I don't think that yep. it's a strange takeaway. Sure. The Zed, oh, it's double mid lane bans here. Blue Moon Jelly Gang banned out heavily. Yeah, yeah. I think for TVA, Vagar uh, in the mid lane is probably their best overall player. So I think it definitely makes sense to try and set him up for the most mm -hmm. success possible. And if that means taking away something like the Zed, something like the Singer that have that, you know, all-in kill potential, I think that that makes a lot of sense. And the, the Yorick hover at the moment, I don't, I don't know if that's an Andy Gwen champ, or an Andy Fraud champ, sorry. You but the Gwen. Much, much be hovered, and there, there's the Gwen that we expected. Chan the Risen. First off, intense name. Second off, thank you for the follow. Graves being taken away too, so... Little bit of jungle takeaway here. The Maokai off the table as well, so they don't want them to have that disengage. They're going to take the Amumu First. instead, which we've seen a lot of in playoffs. Yeah, a lot of Amumu prior in playoffs, and this is a complete flex. Uh, both Damien and Akamp can play the Amumu, yep. uh, so not giving away their, their cards just yet. They want to see kind of what PCR answers into that. Uh, I would assume we probably see like oh, a God. jungle support. <laughs> All right, Sammy, here we go. You got to take over less for us. I got it. 10 uh, seconds. Here we go. I got to take it over. You, you got it, man. So with three seconds left, they're they're draining the clock, and they are going to pull out the Jinx, and I assume we probably see a support to pair with that. I could see the Lulu, I could see the Melio, I could see even like a Renata. Uh, I think Slothman plays most of everything. So, and there's the the Nautilus as the answer. This is a really big pick if they take it. We've seen many, many times Slothman, whether he was playing on Sensei Randall's, he was playing on PC. When you give him something like Dredge Line, like a Binding from Morgana, like Death Sentence from Thresh, that is how he starts a tempo happening in bot lane. Ezreal is a massive pickup to go against that because it's saying, okay, well, now I can zoink away. Ezreal is super strong at the moment with the uh, what's the Yomus and the Essence Reaver. Yeah. And, and Vagar gets his signature champion. Doesn't often get through the, uh, the the first round of bands, so they just decide to scoop it up. I mean, it's it's in his name, for, for goodness sake. And the Kha'Zix answer in the jungle, another super strong champion at the moment. Yeah, Kha'Zix getting picked up. That Vigar is a really good pickup. They banned out two things that are super strong against it, and I think they had the, the intention of taking it all along. Uh, that Zed being taken off the table, that Cinder being taken off the table. And that Vigar is going to be massive with that Amumu just being able to 
keep everybody in one central location. They picked Ezra with it too, though. They need some more team fighting champions, and that's the style that they're going to go with here, I think. Yeah, they, these guys have for sure done their homework on the uh, the new giant patch. These guys picking up champs that are super strong at the moment. Uh, we see the Kled band away from Rap Jr. I would kind of expect just more mid lane bands here. I feel like you just continue to try. You pick the Vagar early, so you want to protect it. Things like the Yone. Uh, Vagar knows these matchups really well, so I'm assuming he's in there saying, this is what I don't want to play against. Um, and just really try and set up that mid lane for as much success as possible. Well, they also have Jinx right now, so I'm wondering if you're trying to take something that's a little bit mid range off the table. I guess a Silas takeaway I think is really good. That's a really good mid game champ um, that allows you the ability to blow people up if they take that Vigar ult as well. So especially with the Amumu ult as well, that's one of the yeah. one of the best in the game. So good read there. They're taking that off the table, and we probably see mid lane here. I feel like they're. I mean, there's no reason to. No, they'll any, take mid lane here. Camp. They'll take mid lane here. You gotta save that final counter here for that bottom lane. Talk about how important that Rap Jr. versus Andy Fraud up in the top lane is. They're actually oh, gonna pick the Melio. So is in the mid. that not that? Well, I actually think it's the Nautilus. Uh, okay. Nautilus mid that the the pro players are trying to make a thing. Uh, personally, I hate it, but I haven't seen it. Uh, uh, listen, well. I, I used to play not mid about two or three years ago. You have full AP, uh, you max your E, and you just you don't have to go near them. That uh, is true, and especially the Aftershock. It can work, but Nautilus is such a... And they're, well, they're actually going to pick in the Janna as an answer into the Jinx Melio. So that does confirm that the Amumu is going into the jungle, and we have the blind Malphite top. Really big takeaway with that Silas, if they knew that they were thinking about Malphi as an option. You don't get to have a counter. You don't get to have a really strong lane. A lot of things taken off the table for you, right? That Kled is gone. There's a bunch of other things that you're not going to be taking because Gwen is out of the table for yourself as well. So you go with a big meaty boy, and they're going to reply with their own meaty boy of their own. A couple of uh, big meaty men in the top lane. Probably not going to see a, a whole lot of action up the wall. Actually, I lied. The director camera is going to have us watching that lane constantly, but <laughs> nothing's actually going to come of it. So just to clarify, we will see where the junglers go, I guess, because that could change things a little bit here. But it is going to be the Amumu in the jungle, and it is uh, going to be that Janna down in support. So a camped on that Janna down there. Yeah, and we assume that this is going to be Nautilus mid. Uh, that seems like the most likely from what I've seen, but, but this is the LBLCS I've heard of like Velka's top and zillion jungles and all other sorts of shenanigans so it could be like a Kha'Zix mid Nautilus jungle we'll, we'll have to wait and see but I'm assuming that, that is a uh, blue moon jellies Nautilus in the mid lane yeah time will tell uh, I'm actually gonna wait to put up the betting until we know where everything is going in case that's going to influence how many schmeckles or where your schmeckles are going if you're new to the LBLCS you can drop on down and join our discord and if you're not new to the LBLCS Good. Good. I'm glad. Thanks for, thanks for sticking around. Yeah. Great, great job on it. Don't you dare subscribe. Don't that, you. That, I you swear to God, do not subscribe. In fact, if you are subscribed, unsubscribe right now. We don't want any more budget. Nothing like that. Please and thank you. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but we got a... Is that another cash-in? Another... Oh, my another God. Another time for what is happening? Okay, all Very right. Is trying I'm trying to, have get to open you. a new one. I'm like almost done with this one, and we haven't even gotten through the first draft. I think that sets a good omen for how this series is going to go. I think <sighs> you are going to be just absolutely smacked by the end of it. Oh. Never underestimate. Right. How no, very the camp. We said do not subscribe. What are he, you he, doing? He literally villain arc. And then he yet. says villain arc. <laughs> Yeah, so if you guys don't know, this series is... The last time we were on the cast, you and I, uh, yes. it was the Cinderella matchup on the other side of the commercial bracket. We had the 13 and the 16 seed, two teams that everybody was rooting for, and High Alert was able to put on that you know glass shoe, and they're in finals. Right. And Never regardless of who was on the other side of the bracket, the they were going to be the bad guys. Cold. And so we have... Two two teams that I think would be relatively you know well liked, uh, you know Panther Core team volatility, uh, but just based on the fact that they're going against the Cinderella, these are the villains, these are the the evil stepmother, these are the you know, the dastardly villains. <sighs> so, a camp is more than happy to play into that. God, I wish that was Mises Gap Topsu. 
Um, we got him, the guy, also subscribing, telling us, I hate ads. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> hang on one second. You better stick around because maybe yeah. we have some ads that might change your mind yeah. on, on your opinion of ads. You just opened a can of worms. Yeah, you did. I can't play him right now because we are waiting to see everything in. It is the Nautilus that was locked into the mid lane, by the way. Yeah. It is despicable that you tell people to not subscribe, and then within 60 seconds, you get two. What's wrong That's with you people? <laughs> like it's like people just don't know how to listen to directions anymore. It, you know, it just feels like a big middle finger. Like <laughs> I'm talking to somebody yeah. I don't know online, and they're just putting the middle finger to me. Don't do that. A casual League of Legends experience, to be fair. That's true. That's very on brand. Yeah, I'm not even upset about it actually. Now that you bring that up, let's uh let's get this bet going here. I'll I'll, I'll start it up. I see we have a couple people hanging out in community so far. If uh, if you didn't know, there's been a kind of trend in playoffs for community watch parties. So if you're feeling a little, a little lonely by yourself in bed uh, watching this series, I mean, feel free to hop in. I see we got a Clowny, Joya, Bear, uh, Pickle Hater. We got some familiar faces in there. So if you're interested, maybe give that, give that a shot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> very, <laughs> very emphatic that you've uh, Knock it off. over room. <laughs> like the idea that he's screaming somewhere, but I can't hear him. Into the void. Yeah, now I got to go to my phone and put some schmeckles down. I am not going to demand to know until the game starts or until it closes Another fully friend. where you put your schmeckles because I don't want anybody who's loading into this game uh, have certain right. feelings about you uh yeah, I, was, I was gonna say we we need to get these schmeckles up i see we only have a ten thousand combined i mean this is semis this is the two versus the three seed i need to see that number like a solid doubled you know get up to 20k that that's a that's a reasonable okay benchmark. my schmeckles are in my schmeckles are in i repeat my schmeckles are in Looks like we're at about a 50-50 here so far. A slight edge to Team Volatility Academy. Uh, Sammy two slap uh, leading that charge. Uh, Vagar is on blue side. Team Volatility Academy. Just trying to promote Coring Energy Never Beer, the official beer of the LBLCS. Of the yeah, no, King another one. Blue, stop subscribing, guys. Knock it off, all right? It's not funny anymore. We have to change our name, dude. Yeah, I actually heard uh, Coriander Beer is on sale now. Is that a... Uh, Coriander that Beer, splash into the beast. Christ, what the hell? All right, in honor of Coriander Beer, we're gonna. I'm going to down some more. Um, waiting for LBLCS Coriander Box Wine. <laughs> yeah, new wine flavor. You know what? Fuck you guys. You're watching. You know what? Here, I'll crack this one first. All right? Now you're watching the ad. Now you're watching the ad. A six-pack of beer is just a six-pack of beer. But a six-pack of coriander? Now that's something to celebrate. Carefully crafted with one main ingredient and one signature flavor, coriander transcends hops and malt barley. And with our new easy-to-open bottles, you'll be able to slug down a sixer faster than you could ever want to. So grab a friend and raise a glass to craftsmanship. Because a coriander shouldn't be enjoyed alone. It's the only beverage of true refreshment. Coriander beer. It takes two to tank. Alright, if anybody has anybody to blame for that, uh you guys can blame um uh God, I don't know who said it. Someone said something. It was in the guy. He said I hate ads. Yeah, some guy was complaining about ads, so I just showed him what a good ad looked like. You haven't even seen the best ad. I didn't even play the I best ad. The best one. You know what I mean? valentine commenting the fact that you have a voice that is just made for uh for commercials thank you exactly the same as what we got going on here thank you and him the guy's apologizing for uh <laughs> i'm so sorry doing what he, did. he says at least you've learned now maybe the next time before you comment on some more ads you know you'll, you'll think about the the consequences that might be coming your way coriander beer the only beverage of true refreshment I could probably recite that whole thing if I've ever listened to it. When I when I play that ad, I don't hear it. I just see it visually, and I see the audio going up yeah. on the bottom, but I don't actually hear it. <clears throat> Ooh, we got some... Okay, how much do we get for the bets in the end here? We got a hype train going, too. 
a hype train. We got 30k Maybe. in the in the Schmeckle bets. It's it's a warm up. You know, we're in game one. Yep. It's a it's two o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. You know, people are still either waking up. Oh, well, I hope they're not waking up at two o'clock. But they might be. <laughs> Let's know, not put it past like, them yet. <laughs> I mean, if they had a rough Saturday night, perhaps. Uh, we'll we'll see. Hopefully, the excitement here in game one uh, warrants some higher betting in game two. Uh, let's see where. Where did you put your money now that we are loading into the game? Little Robot oh, Man oh, subscribing as well. Everyone deciding not to listen to me today. Cool, 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 cool. I'm not upset about that at all. And as usual, LeChance looks toes. Uh, Little Robot Man, who we, we still have not confirmed that they are not LeChance. We've not seen them in the same room at the same time. Actually, this weekend I saw them in the same call. Okay, but... Never counterpoint yeah the power of the chance could have been on the the computer and the little phone. robot man could have been signed in on the phone yeah no that's it true it'd be the same person until you see the two entities in the same room in person no, that's the law i have to on. yeah yeah no that that makes sense to me we are loaded in right now i'm stuck right now i'm gonna see if i can jump in the time i can't that's okay welcome to the low budget lcs yeah, stop subscribing because i don't want to be medium budget because yeah, then i'll be held accountable and i'll have to be like you know good at what i do Gray screens like this are what you get with uh with the medium budget LCS. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm. You just need one K to make bogus traces. Yeah, well, I'm already like two in now. We're I'm jumping to seven seconds. By the way, I'm at eight seconds, nine seconds. Let me know if you're with me. Uh, I'm gonna 12, pause at fifteen and then let me know when you're 14, at fifteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Right. How you doing, bud? Yep, Good. Uh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, okay. I'm with you, but uh. I can't move my screen. Guys, this is a low budget LCS. Less for us. Uh, do a little, sing a little bit. Do a little song. Well, actually, uh, Panther Core is walking in as a five man unit. Going to be sniffed out there by Damien. Uh, we're going to see if they maybe drop a ward, try to get some information out of this uh, invade. But I, yeah, so there's going to be a matching wards dropped there on the top side of TVA. So both squads are fully aware here. A lot of vision being dropped by Panther Core. Just going to walk this one off. Of, <laughs> yep. No, him the guy. You are like actually not doing anything right. We are not supposed to be subscribing. We are not supposed to be getting a higher budget. No, no, we don't. We're the times. low budget. You know what I mean, guys. This is a great camera view. I hope you like this camera view. We're gonna check everything around. <laughs> I'm I'm butchering this stream as it's early like as one, I can. Like a, it feels like it's like looking through like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> yeah, it actually made me kind of ill. Another ten, Christ! You know what? If you keep doing that, I'm gonna move the screen around real weird. Yeah, what's the what's the like limit on a the the takes to? Uh, we don't have limits. Didn't uh, force I've never the found any limits. Yeah, and I won't today, no matter what he does to me. All right, so we see the junglers started opposite sides, yeah, and yeah, since they have those wards down on the uh, the blue buff up top side, uh, Panther Core should know that Amumu started down here on the bot side. Guess probably gonna farm it up here for the first couple minutes. I don't think we are gonna see Kha'Zix do a whole lot. Camp Sada, did you not listen to us? We said don't do that. We said don't do that. God what? damn it! Oh my God! Christ. People just refuse to listen. It's just Never tough times. Oops, he's the same. Oops, that's that's actually killer to me. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. <sighs> actually, definitely no. Do not call us the medium budget LCS. Cold. That is not us. Never has been. Never will be. It's very interesting that basically three admin got it. Uh, that's very interesting to me. Old No Name Spooky Never Man and Valentine. All somehow cold. getting a sub out of that. Hmm. Rigged for sure. Rigged for sure. Not a whole lot of action here early. We just continue to see the uh, the full clears here. Although it looks like Kha'Zix has decided to skip the wolves. So maybe looking here in the mid lane. Uh, obviously very easy set up with the, uh, the Nautilus. Yeah, Billa looking for something around. A flash, dredge line is going to connect. Doing a lot of damage. Vagar trying to get back, and he is going to survive. Be able to trade some damage back onto Billa. Look at him just tempting fate, though. Billa does have that flash available if he wanted to. Yeah, and that's what you picked that Nautilus mid for. Uh, you're trying to set up your jungler, trying to set up the Kha'Zix. Uh, looks like he's going to continue this up. Yeah, Blue Moon Jelly doing a lot of damage right now. Another dredge line is going to connect. Can the CC land? It doesn't, but... 
He might get the kill with the W right there to flash forward. Bill is in a little bit too deep. He gets hit by the bandage toss and he gets taken down as well. 2-0 and TVA take an early lead. Vagar just knows the limits of this champion. He was never in any danger. He he knew that he had a Mumu coming up from that top side, just baited in Billa, uh, just looks so enticing. And that's a quick 2-0 and a 1,000 gold lead here just uh, four minutes in. Yeah, Mumu picking up one, Vigar picking up the other. Although, Virgil doing a good job getting a little bit of a CS lead down there in the bot lane. A Mumu going to just catapult ahead up here with, with just CS in the jungle right now. And I feel like Amumu is really good after these item changes. Uh, can't say I know why exactly. No, I've, I haven't played a ton of League, but everything I've heard uh, from, from teammates and friends is that Amumu is quite strong at the moment. Rap Jr. in a little bit, of, <laughs> little bit of trouble here. Might have to flash away. Might be able to walk it out, though. It's pretty close up there in the top lane. One more auto might do it if they have grass. They don't get it off. Yeah. Gonna walk it off, but the wave is in kind of a bad spot, so... Probably going to have to call in Damien, try to bail him out here, unless uh, Andy Fraud decides to reset the wave. Virgil doing a really good job trading down here onto these guys. This is definitely somebody to watch, especially on a champion like this Jinx. A lot of pressure put on their uh, on their plate here. Uh, Jinx, super strong, uh, has a lot of utility provided from that Melio as well. So I would say this is the strong pursuit of Panther Core. So again, hopefully we see Virgil pop off here. Big wave crashing top. Yeah, massive wave that is crashing. Rap Jr. just trying to defend that plate, but he's not able to, although he might be able to deal with Andy right now. He's going to go back and turn for the minions. Bill is in some trouble. Does get hit by the bandage toss. Is trying to escape, healing a little bit, but so much damage, and the CC comes in, and Vigar is going to pick up that kill. Just spoon feeding the uh, the Vagar mid, not what you want to see. It's a little aggressive, I think, from Billa. Obviously, had the, the timers on the camps right, but... You had no way for uh, for top lane to walk down. Your mid laner has no mana, so probably just not a spot that you need to be in there. And again, that's just this Vagar is getting accelerated really quickly. Yeah, he's off to the races right now. Three and zero. Oh, they basically have a two K gold lead already. Only six minutes into the game. Nautilus is roaming though. Might be coming down bottom here, trying to find a dredge line. Maybe onto a camp if he does look here. He's in the tri bush right now, channeling yeah, that back. If they do come up here for a ward. He will find it, but they're not. And he's going to circle around. No pings right now. Not sure if they're aware of this pressure. Crashing the wave. They're not going to find it. Flash out of a camp. The traps are down. A teleport's being forced out of Vigar from the mid lane. That should keep them safe under there. So good rotation there, but nothing out of it other than a summoner spell. Uh oh, might get trouble. Bill is here. Bill absolutely blows him up right there. It's a one for one trade as Vigar trades back onto the Nautilus as well. We're gonna, we're gonna sit and watch and this then, uh, slide yeah, in the top lane. Directed Cam's like, no, but this is the important thing. Yeah. Up here in the top lane. This is what's going Directed on. Directed Cam loves tanks so much. Yeah. Uh, actually criminal. Yeah, that was, uh, it was looking good there at first for, uh, for Panther Core. You know, you got the flash, you got the TP, but it looks like they tried to, you know, get a little bit more. And they do get a trade, which is good, I guess. But another kill into Vagar's pocket while the kill went into Nautilus. You really wanted to try and get that on the Jinx, I feel like. So... This Vagar is going to be a monster here in about, you know, five to ten minutes, I feel like. Another massive wave getting crashed into the top lane here, and once those tick down, Andy might go for another plate hit, but just pestering and, like, he might go in does mean Rap Jr. misses some CS, and he won't even get that cannon minion right there. It's another big thing he misses. Andy Glenn, one of the, uh, the best top laners we have in commercial. Even when it's on something like the Scion, able to build up, you know, a 15 CS lead pretty much uh, independently here. Right. <laughs> and Blue Moon Jelly just constantly on the move. Uh, goes bot lane, comes back to mid, catches a single wave, and then walks up top side. Uh, that, that's really just the, the support roaming lifestyle, but in the mid lane. As a support, I'd love to see that. Villa is clearing out some vision. Can't probably going to start up that dragon. Actually, just going to bother Kha'Zix a little bit. We'll see if uh, Panther Core decides to commit to this uh, with TVA coming back off the resets with the bot lane Ezreal. Looks like they're kind of stalling here. Just going to look to clear out some vision. Yeah, Got to be careful with your Damien. Yeah, if that bandage shot does connect there, he has Curse of the Sad Mummy up. 
Ready to go ham Balamski on these guys. And Vigar is the one who's nearby. Has so much damage. He's 3-0 right now. Bought that early Dark Seal. Knows he could be stacking up. Yeah, and someone in the, the chat mentioned uh, is actually Gloomy Jelly might be in a bit of trouble here. Massive dredge line, but it's not going to matter. Look at all the CC that comes up and follows you. Trying to reply with a little bit of his own. Can he get out of here? Can he survive the flash forward? Means Vigar picks up the kill. Oh, but the Scion all coming through. Sinal is now collecting in the mid lane, but he doesn't knock anybody up. They're trying to find sun damage. It's a two on three, and Damien looking for the bandage toss is going to find it. Can they find more damage on the belly? He's able to jump over the wall right there. Andy Fraud, though, just too tanky to even be yeah, bothered. Another Fraud. I'm going to have to walk that off. Still another kill. Another kill into this Vagar's pocket. I have to do a quick gold check here. I feel like he's got to be close to the, uh, the Mythic here already. Yeah, not even 10 minutes into the game. Yeah, 4 and O has a 400 gold bounty on him. Pretty yeah, good stuff. Chat, as chat's mentioning, uh, that is a good point by very frightening the fact that while Nautilus is, you know, has that all-in potential when the jungler comes or when someone else comes to assist, yep. outside of that, you know, Vagar can kind of just free stack AP, and that's, you know, without the, the kills on top of it as well. So definitely a great uh, start for the Vagar. We'll have to see if it carries over into the mid game. I do like all this vision though that uh, Panthercore has invested on that top side, trying to uh, enable Andy Fraud on the Scion to be up as far as possible. Yeah, he's up about 30 CS up in the top lane right now. Definitely becoming very big. Going to be a, just a, a beefy tank line to try to deal with. Um, but Malphite's not going to have to try to deal with him. He's actually just going to be diving back there, trying to find everything with a Mumu, blow those guys up. And he's, speaking of a Mumu, here he is. Trying to do some damage. Villa has out. also arrived, but there's the ultimate out of Malphite and a lot of damage out of Villa. He has to go invisible, trying to flash away, stay alive for a little bit longer as Andy Fraud is just taking this damage, soaking it all up, does not connect the Q, but nobody will go down in the end. Nobody goes down there, thankfully, without the curse of the sad mummy. Uh, Villa is able to walk this off, does have to burn the flash, but ultimately no one's going to die here. Blue Moon Jelly on the roam, and we do see that Loon's Echo already in the mid lane. Loon's Tempest. I can't remember which one's called. Yeah, Loon's Tempest. Uh, forgive my age. Yeah, you're such an idiot. Such <laughs> an idiot. Look, man, I'm a, I'm a support. I don't know if I've ever built uh, Loon's Tempest in my life outside of ARAM. Well, let me tell you something. If you, even if you're playing support, start building it. Start taking the kills. All right. Mm, let me let me grab my NO pad real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've got a couple of LBLCS titles, and I did it mostly by stealing all the kills. All right. Steal all the kills. Steal all the kills in support, and in top lane, pick the same champion all year. Uh oh, a lot of damage on Aversion right now as it camped. Camp baited? Trying to slow him down, but actually getting baited himself. Super Mega Death Rocket is going to connect the other. Flash right. away and stay alive. Galson also going to burn that heal right there, but now they're going to have a four on three, and Villa knows it, pinging to get away. We also do see both of the uh, solo laners walking down here, so if they're not careful, this is going to be a five on four. Uh, as we do hear the Scion ult coming in from a mile away. Coming all the way down here into the bot lane. Now can have a front line. Slothman trying to find these guys. Curse the sad money is going to go down. A lot of damage onto them right here. His verge is almost completely deleted. Can't Slothman save him a massive shield, but it's not going to matter because the open for Metro is going to finish him off. Now it's a 3v5. Can these guys fight him off? They actually just want to survive with their lives. Andy Fraud trying to back all the way up. Does have to flash. He's going to get CC'd into oblivion. And there he goes. The fifth kill of the game for Vigar. And Team Volatility Academy taking it to panther core one of the best teams in commercial these guys weren't really weren't challenged all that much in the regular season they they took a series loss but it was with multiple stubs uh, but this starting five is so strong they played so many games together over multiple seasons but tva is just outplaying them in the early game they they had the read that the sl landers were coming by they waited it out they they caught uh the bot lane off by themselves with the scion and they just clean up the team pick up that first dragon this is just excellent work here so far it's a really strong early game showing from these guys. It all started with that mid lane double kill. Uh, Mumu and Vigar picking up a kill respectively. About three minutes into this one. We're 13 minutes in now, and they've got a 3k gold lead and a dragon up on them. It does look like Bill's gonna pick up the Rift Herald uh, to try and get something back in their pockets, but I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to find an opportunity to uh, get any plates with it. They're gonna have, it's gonna be a really tight window there. But an objective is an objective, end of the day. 
Yeah, it means that they're not going to get it and they're not going to break down these towers a little faster. We could see him rotate the top lane or even mid lane just to try to get some gold. <laughs> Andy is really rocking the top lane. We do see also that Storm Razor coming out for the Jinx. Uh, kind of that new flavor of, the, flavor of the week item for pretty much any AD carry. I feel like they go Storm Razor, so should be able to start pumping out some damage now. And Sion just... Rap trying his best, but there's just nothing you can do when uh, you got like a 4,000 health Sion just uh, hitting your tower. Yeah, already 91 on the Heart Steel stacks as well, so... He's gonna be a big boy, because he got that early, he's been CSing like crazy, he's a 40 up on him right now. They're sending more to deal with the man. Yeah, but they, they've uh, done a pretty good job of keeping these deep wards all game long, as uh, maybe a camp in a little bit of trouble. I just gonna walk it off here. Rap Jr. knows that he has help coming, but there's the unstoppable. You can't stop him. He's unstoppable just yeah, like he, you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not going to be the end of the world, I don't think, but uh, do have to be careful, though, if you are this bot lane. Uh, I think a camp is not long for this world. Yeah, Villa did show. He doesn't get CC'd or knocked up right there. He's trying to get this guy down. Hello? Can he get some help? Super Mega Death Rocket's going to connect, and Virgin's going to pick up their first kill of the game. Bit of a donation there from Billa. I think that they could have picked up the kill themselves if they wanted, but want to get the Shinx ahead. I really feel like that is kind of the, I mean, the win con for, yeah, for PCR is getting that Jinx gold. Uh, we're going to see two towers go down here, so pretty yeah, good. They're going to come right back play. into this gold, and all of a sudden it's just a 500 gold game. Yeah, that's how quickly things can turn around. We'll see if there's a play to be made here, bot, with uh, Ezreal and Amumu. Massive flash into the binded and the curse of the sad mummy. Here comes the alt from Slothman, trying to keep him alive for a little bit longer. It doesn't matter. Galson picks up the kill. They're trying to take down Slothman, who's just about out of mana yeah. as well. Can he dodge the banish toss? It's coming. You know it's coming. And there it does connect, and he will be taken down in the end. 10 to 2 is the score. 1.5k is the lead. Yeah, just, uh, just a heads up read there. I mean, you give up the two towers, but you get two kills back in your pocket. This Amumu is really getting strong. We see that Essence Reaver on the Ezreal. Uh, pretty far in that tier progress as well. So going to be pumping out a ton of damage here soon. And yeah, the Abyssal Mass finished up on Blue Moon Jelly. They have Billa nearby. They're actually dropping the ultimate early at camp. Rotating in the area. Here comes Dredge Line. A lot of damage onto him, but they're actually forcing the Flash out of Blue Moon to get out of there. I feel like uh, Blue Moon has seen this uh, this story once or twice before this game where, where he gets caught out by a cage and gets immediately popped. So just kind of saw that terror in his eyes. Had to flash before the, uh, the impact kind of came in. Let's see. We got, uh, got a little over a minute until this next dragon. I would assume that Panther Core want to try and contest this. I don't know if they feel like they're as close in the game as they really are. I mean, 10 to 2 would indicate that it's a really big gold lead, but it's only about, like you said, about 2k. Billa caught up, though. Yeah, Billa taking a lot of damage, and here come the reinforcements trying to help out. Oh, that dredge line doesn't connect, but can they keep him off of Billa? A little bit more speed. He pops his own Yomus to get out of there. Blue Moon Jelly is the one that's probably going to die in the end here. He does get taken down, and... They're just getting caught out, although Andy is, like, growing, dude. Andy is for sure getting to have a lot of health. Uh, it's I don't know how much it's going to gonna help as the game goes on into the, uh, Vagar, but holding his own right now actually might just look to... He's just having fun with it, man. Stuff, yeah. Ten more. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> you're in less force. This is, my throat's going to be in. sore, dude. Hang on. Well, at least you're having a good time. Uh, we should see this uh, top tower go down. Raptor, you're going to pick up that solo gold. And then I would expect everybody on TVA to walk down towards that bot side, try to fight this dragon. You have the advantage. You have the gold lead. You have the Vagar and the Ezreal. I think you got to make this play for TVA. Iceborne completed for Rap Jr. as well as those tabbies. A lot of AD on the side of uh, uh, Panther Core, so... Really heads up to, you know, just build that armor and the other uh, two items already on the Amumu. Oh, Akanto, gotta be careful. Uh, doesn't hit with the dredge line. Does force the flash out of him, though, as Janna has to get out of there. And this might be second dragon of the game going over to Panther Corps. They gotta burn it down really quick because the teleport is coming in. They do knock it up, but Kha'Zix picks up that Vigar with a massive everything right there. So much damage dropping out of Blue Moon. Drops your ultimate as well. He goes down. Andy Fraud has to get chased out of the side. It's a two for zero right now as they're running for the hills. Andy Fraud actually... Can you kill that man? Is is it possible for him to die? 
They're all gonna try, right? I don't know. I don't know if he can die. He's just gonna. Oh, he does. It does force his flash. He's gonna get a knock up onto that John though. Can they find some damage out of them right now? Man, this guy's gonna be a problem come late game. He's gonna be a problem, but if they're able to kill everyone else, yeah. What, what is Andy Frog gonna do? You know, they they get the walk they get around. the dragon there. Looking good. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna walk around. Uh, <laughs> they they get the tower bot, but they do lose the dragon as Panthercore was just quicker on the resets there. Got to the objective first, uh, and they thought they had him there with that. Uh, they they saw Rapture Junior TP and ran to the pit. Just no fear whatsoever. But ultimately, the team fight goes TVA's way. And we're now sitting at like a little over 4,000 gold lead. He's got 215 stacks on that Vigar, by the way, chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they picked a really good team fighting team. They picked uh, champions that they're proficient on, that they like to play, and then they piloted them well, right? They've been in the right positions at the right times. They've known the limits of their own champions. Vigar has been popping off 7-0-2. This Amumu has been a menace to society as well. 4-0-6. Oh, it's like they're going to try on Andy Fraud here. Andy Fraud just needs a couple I, seconds to, to ult away. He might just fight them until reinforcements yeah. come, though. I don't know if they have the damage to kill this guy. But with the Vagar coming in, they do. Yeah, and they stop the ult right there as well. One unstoppable just for a second. They're all up here, and Red was making their way to this side of the map, but it didn't matter. Andy knows that he's not going to take anybody down. He's going to go for that cannon mini and grab the rest of that wave as well. I feel like we're going to be seeing Vagar take a trip to his library. Oh, good right hook there. Yeah, massive traps as well. They blow him up. It is going to be the shutdown gold going to that Nautilus, though. But this Vitzel goes TVA's way, I think. Yeah, he's trying to sack himself right there to stay alive for a little bit longer. Blue Moon trying to slow their onslaught. Doesn't hit with the Banish Toss, though. Softman and Versha are out, and so is Blue Moon. They do get away, but they burn the Jinx Flash, which I think is huge for yeah. an upcoming play if they go on the Baron. I think you take that, even if you aren't able to get the kills there. Uh, oh, they are looking for really something. Good. That's the person that you want to find a kill on. Can you finish him off? You can't get knocked back into it. Super Mega Death Rocket doesn't find Vigar, though. Only finds a camp. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the end of this fight that we see here. I uh, got the TBI with Anthony Fry. They just keep going. There's just no relentless, or there's no relent from TBA. Uh oh. The a lot of damage still on to him, though. Can anybody come help out? They get hit by a massive Ezreal right there. He actually doesn't go down. He does in the end to an auto attack from Rap Jr. He's going to try to run in, cause some amount of chaos for these guys. Trading a couple of autos before eventually. Dying for the third time. 0 3 and 0 with 168 CS. That's 60 above his counterpart. They set their sights on Baron, which might have less health than Scion. This is going to be a little risky, though. I mean, Kha'Zix is up. They're coming. They don't kill this exceptionally quickly, so this feels like a bit of a 50 50. This is 100% a 50 50 because Ka Billa is right there. Billa goes in. He takes it. He takes down the Baron. And that's going to put them back into the game. That's going to put them back into the game. That's just. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the the read there was that they just felt like they were strong enough to, to fight them heads on. But but Billa with the huge Baron Steel there, that's going to give them a lot of time here. Could give them the upper hand on this Dragon. I'm not sure if uh, TVA is going to look to full on fight them here. But yeah, that... Uh, Billa's a killer. Here. Billa's a killer, son. He's in. I, I Before that play started, I was going to comment on how PCR has done a really good job. Even if they're losing... Pretty much every fight that we've seen, TBA hasn't been able to like get an objective or get a tower. They've just kind of been like held in place. And now they get that Baron, which Slothman I mean, them back <clears throat> has always been one of the best warders. And you can actually see it in the stats right now. I know that it, it doesn't always mean that you're doing the best job, but even right now, 34 to 24 respectively on a camp, um, just has such vision score all the time. I've seen games where Slothman in finals has had over 130 vision score. Like, the dude constantly is warding. If you check out where they are, they're always trying to make sure that there's pathways for people to walk around. So, <clears throat> that's one way that they're able to help, like, mitigate them taking things. Like, oh, well, we got to clear this area out before we can take it because four of them are still alive. Yep. It does look like maybe Panther Corps is just looking to give up this dragon. Um, maybe just feeling like they want to like, use that bear and just stall out the game a little bit. It is just one. One Drake. So I don't hate the call at all from Panther Corps, but we'll see if they uh, change their minds here. It is a percentage thing, though, right? Like, you're sending a very early Super Mega Death Rocket onto it. doesn't, doesn't take anything. They're going to get this Infernal. 
That's really mm -hmm. scary for something like Ezreal Vigar to pick up, though. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's definitely dangerous as they get towards that soul. But it was only the second one, so it's yep. they it's it could be a lot worse. You know, if that was like the third or the fourth dragon, I think Panthercore has to fight that. But with it only being the second, I think they're gonna look for opportunities to get some gold in their pockets so they can maybe fight the next Baron or that next dragon and actually uh like stand a chance outside of the steel. Yeah, Jinx has finished that IE does have the Storm Razors as well. So they will start to chunky when they hit you right now. They just need a little, once they get a little bit of attack speed, this is gonna blow wide open. Keep your sure, eyes the later, on her. The later the game goes, the stronger Jinx gets. But on the other side, you have an infinitely scaling Vigar, which is already so ahead of the pace. Uh, has the death cap. Yep. Uh, I think they're working towards the Seraph's Embrace there. But if I know uh, Vigar is a player, uh, they're for sure going to go the Mage Eyes at some point. So yep. we'll see if they catch him out here. Yeah, they they do want to find him. They do find a little bit of CC right there. As Damien makes sure he keeps trying to get in front of him, but he couldn't do it. Curse of the Sad Money doesn't stun him up right there. He's able to alt out, which was all that he wanted. Able to walk it off. Gonna catch him out of here again. A lot of damage. Almost popping his shield. Look at the damage he does in return, though, without having to build any amount of it. This is a waltz. This is a dance that he's doing. He's gonna pull everyone down oh, here. There's a the teleport. From the Nautilus. Yeah, it's a really big teleport to be getting dropped right now. They're gonna find some damage onto them. Ezreal is here. Bill is here. Can you find damage onto a camp? He's doing a lot. Forces the no, ultimate out of Jana. And there's everything going down right now. Really good trap though. Keeps everybody at bay. Keep them safe for a little longer. The flash forward and the ultimate getting trapped down onto them. They find the Jinx. She is out of here. Massive pickup there for Vigar. They're trying to chase these guys further back. They don't have the same damage that they had before. Bill on trying the back, to Bill on the back. Chew them down there to pick up the Nautilus as well. Villa is being sneaky, but you gotta find them. They've gotta be alone for it to work. Andy Fraud still with 60,000 health. Starting to get choked down though. They're on this tower. Three man knockup. Andy Fraud still does damage with that Q. Can still harm these guys, but Villa lurking and waiting for a kill here. Not sure if he will ever find it. Yeah. He was hoping that the rest of the team walked up. He saw that Vagar had low health. As they're actually gonna stop these bases here. Gonna have to walk this one off. Just, uh, just really heads up there. That oh, oh, the oh my Sultry god! I was watching Villa, and I then heard your voice, and I see the rocket come down. <laughs> you will take that if you are, if you are Verja here. Get a little, a little bit of gold back in your pockets. Wasn't the Amumu, which I think would have been nice. Uh, I'm not sure if that would have killed, to be honest. But these guys actually have to walk it off here. I mean. Raptor is a beefy guy, but still in a low yeah, danger. He could be in a lot of trouble right here, especially if those traps do connect, and they do. Verge trying to chunk him down. Not quite enough. That CC might help. It doesn't even matter, though. So much armor on this guy. Yeah, just uh, not the easiest target to pick off there. I mean, we saw it with Andy Farad. We saw it there with Rap Jr. These big, meaty guys uh, take, take an eternity to kill. But Baron coming up here in a minute. We'll see what TVA's call is. You know, you, you want to make sure to have like a solid mental. You know, the last time you tried the Baron, it got stolen. And that can definitely be demoralizing if you're a jungler. But mm -hmm. you also have to recognize that you're... The score is 18 to 4. You you probably feel like you're pretty far ahead of the game. But you have to play smart. You can't just, you know, assume that you're going to get the Baron. You have to respect the fact that you got Bill on the other side. That you've got this really strong Panther Core team. Well, just looking at the gold charts too, right? Like, they're up a bunch of kills, but Jinx has good CS. They've got a good amount of gold. They've got more gold than Ezreal does. Scion's got a good amount of gold just because of how many minions they've been able to take down, right? They're almost 100 above Rap Jr. here. They've been taking down towers left and right. I mean, if they have the right elements in the fight, it can be a lot closer. They, sh I think this next dragon is really going to be a tell-all. I think I'd agree. And they gotta be careful here because Scion has a TP where his Malphite doesn't. So mm -hmm. I think Rap Jr. Has, if their play is to go for this Baron, they have to start walking a Malphite up now. Otherwise, I mean, I guess uh, they can say, oh, it's actually Blue Moon Jelly just I getting Blue Moon caught. Jelly, but a massive ultimate out of it might keep him alive for the Bellinger. Dredge Line is going to connect to, and it's on target that they want, but nobody is there to follow it up. So they chase him out of there. And Andy Fraud, doing his best. Bunch of. A little and a lot all at once. Thanks, Directed Cam. I wanted to watch this. Yes, seven percent of their health just went down there. Uh, give it another like four minutes, and we might see a kill. Uh, looks like neither oh, team is really committing to that Baron. Dragon is up, and they're gonna try and catch out Melio here. 
Yeah, and this could be really dangerous for these the guys. Flash. Direct to Cam didn't want us to see it, but... No, Direct Cam doesn't want us to watch that fight at all. No, it just wants us to... They want us to keep track of these grass procs. <laughs> Actually, that's, uh, that's great. Where are we at on these grass procs? Yeah, why don't you tell us, because Direct to Cam, they're, they're having a field day with this. So, uh, so Scion has 44. Wow. And uh, Malphite on the other side has 30. So, a lot of uh, meaty men slap meats up there. Yep. Villa might be in trouble. Really good slow with this W right there, keeping everybody at bay, though. This and dragon has gonna, spawned, and like, Andy's... Has just, just been able to stop TVA from going for these objectives, which is to their their, their benefit. And, and here's the the play we're looking at. They're going for the Baron. They're, they're daring Villa to come in again. Villa's done it before. They're starting it up again. He might go in. He's over the wall right now, and he does enough. He takes it again a second time in this series. Mil Milio picks up Jana as well. Blue Moon Jelly should be going down right here, but can he run back to his teammates? He does get the heal. It's not going to be enough. Ezreal picks up back kill. So now Andy Fraud has Baron down here in the bot lane, and TVA is throwing a ball in the air and just asking, asking you if PC stop. can if catch it. If you're TVA, like, that's the second time now where you're just taking it. You know that all the Panther core is right there, and you're just saying, come get it. It's, it, hasn't, it didn't work the first time. It didn't work the second time. You're now giving over this dragon, which could have been another, you know, stacking condition. And you just have to yeah. find a way to, like, make the play happen. Like, they kind of just stood around Baron and didn't do anything for a solid, like, minute and a half there. You know, Andy Fraud was able to, you know, take the tower bot, able to get some pressure on Rap Jr. You can see that the uh, inhibitor tower is almost down as well. So, I don't know. These guys need to reevaluate their uh, their game plan here because Panther Core is right back in it. This is a really crazy scenario because you've been gifted two things, right? You didn't have to fight the Baron. Billa had to make the right call to go in when they did each time and, and channel their smite with their Q at the best of their ability. That last one dropped about 400 and they're still able to pick it up. So they thrive under this chaos and TVA has been playing so calculated, orchestrated, organized, making clear plays, but they're just take, fighting off more than they can shoot. They're like, oh, it's 15 you know, to 4. We can do whatever we want. We can go for this Baron. You can't. They have the same ability as you. So there's got to be uh, something going on in the comms soon where it's like, Hey, just take things that are for sure because their jungle hasn't died and their mid laner haven't died. They've been playing super well. Now it's basically a tie game. They have to find a way to just make a, like a good macro play happen. I mean, they're looking on Silent here, which I mean, again, this guy's gonna take an eternity to kill, even with uh, you know Vagar here. A lot of damage. Here comes the unstoppable. He can get in front. He can slow him down a little bit. Is this worth chasing down, though? It's going to take you so long to kill him. He's got those shields. He's able to live through so much. Looks like Amumu is making his way up here to the top as well, but that's going to leave your mid lane super open. He does have his flash. He's going to have to dodge some of this stuff. Dodges the first bandage toss. Uses the stone plate to get extra big. Is still alive. Getting another stack off as well. Ultimate being dropped onto him. He is going to go down in the end. That's a lot of gold for them to pick up right there. But mid lane's going to go down. A teleport being forced out as Andy Fraud just chewing this wave out of here. They have to back I don't out. Like this, though, if you're TVA, you don't have any ultimates. You use the Vagar ult. You use the Amumu ult. I mean, maybe if you get a catch on the Nautilus, that would have been good. But, but yeah, I mean, they spent so much time trying to kill Andy Fraud up there. They get the mid tower. I don't know, it's, it feels like they're just having such a hard time making things happen for themselves. They are dealing with something that people have trouble dealing with in solo queue a lot, and that is like, we have to deal with Scion early because Scion just pushing him with infinite health is actually a problem. 990 heart steel stacks on this Scion, right? This dude is giant. He's going to take a lot of effort to kill Billa, looking for something on a Rap Jr. as well right now as Blue Moon Jelly moves up with Verja. They're going to take that tower up in the top lane as well, though. A little bit of move speed. Rap Jr. could be in trouble. Does have to burn his ultimate again. And we just kind of see the opposite here this time. TVA shoving down mid as uh, the Scion ult coming in. Gonna just <laughs> walk walk away. But they get that tower top, get some gold back in their pockets, and, and we're back to about a 4,000 gold lead, which, again, for this stage in the game, with a score being 20 to 5, you'd expect a, a much wider gold range there. Here's the thing that I'm worried about for TVA. All right, they're, they're huge right now. They definitely need to win the next dragon. Honestly, don't even go for the Baron at this point unless everybody's dead. Um, fool me once, fool me twice. Don't fool me thrice. Uh, here's the thing too though, Vigar dies, he's got 14 stacks on the Magi's right now. 
he's gonna lose a lot of AP. Yes, this dude's gonna stack up over and over and over again, but for something like Scion, that's gonna matter a lot for taking him down. Do you see how long it took when you had three of your strongest guys fighting him? Yeah, this, uh... They definitely just need to find more plays where they're, they're not just trying to coin flip an objective, you know? When you're in this, like, commercial league, I feel like this later game, like, that macro sense is where you can kind of separate, like, the good from the great teams, and... <laughs> TVA's read has just been to relentlessly go in on this uh, the Scion by himself. Yeah, and here they're doing it again, all five of them. He is completely out of place this time, though, and he should be going down in the end. Now, how long that takes... Actually, a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Yeah, once you have that Ezreal there, I think you really start to chew him out. Yeah, I... Just right there from you have uh, to kill him Andy twice though it's very funny little, i think that was a little disrespectful you knew that they were you know off the map you didn't know which side they were on mm -hmm. i feel like you know obviously you're so strong with you know all the health you have but again you're only a scion by yourself you know just uh a little greedy a little disrespectful we'll see what the play here is from tva they have about 30 seconds here the baron is coming online in 30 seconds dragon in 15 and um, that's probably gonna be their place to just take that objective with scion dead jinx does have four items completed uh we got another uh cash in of uh, it takes two. Oh my god this one doesn't specify who it goes to it's like five <laughs> can you, seconds five you gonna help me five. out you gonna help me out a two and a half each way all right i yeah. can i can i can dive in on that Not bad. Not bad. Not, could, not bad at all. I could survive that. I will have to get another one immediately after, though. This series wraps up. You know what? I'll get it the next time I play an ad. Because I'm going to play another advertisement. It's going to be a homemade LBLCS ad. So you're going to love it again. Just like Do we see this for the third time? I feel like we've seen this movie twice already. I've also heard third <laughs> times the charm. Bill is in! He doesn't take it, though. Mumu's able to smite it this time, and they instantly take him down. But here comes the train of Sion well, knocking up two into the sky right there. Damien dropping super low. A massive flash from Virgil. Dodging that. Clip back, because Virgil is absolutely insane. Chewing these guys down. Does get stuck no in the back line right there. Blue Moon Jelly gets super low. Damien no, should Jinx get said... taken down as well. A massive curse of the sad mummy. Huge ult from Slothman as well. Can Jinx find any kill? They can't. Fygar picks up right there it's a massive takedown now all of a sudden Cyan is a lot of trouble there's no damage to follow up there's no damage to help and they are gonna take down four for zero four people down you have Malphite who can just tp in here i think that that's got to be game for tva just jinx was so close to getting a couple of resets there on the amumu on the janna unfortunately tva able to buy so much time with this amumu with this janna that they couldn't get that first reset. Like, that fight could look completely different if Verge is able to get a reset on. Kha'Zix but... is up right now. A teleport There's coming TV. in from Malphite, making sure they have They're all five this. for this. They want to end this. They want to put them out of their misery for game one. They want to take the lead here in the semifinals. These guys aren't even going in. Bill is going to try to find something. He gets immediately eviscerated, and so does the Nexus at 26 and 5. TVA take game one. Uh, oh, it looks like... Uh... Buggle did not, or not Buggle, uh, Sam with two slap did not like that we split the time there, so he's actually cashed in another 10 seconds for what you. What is happening? <laughs> Alright, all right. well you gotta wait, because there's no way I have enough right now for that to work. Also, Vigar 15-0 in 7 that game. Bonkers, dude. We should we should not see uh, Vagar get the Vagar this next time. Well, uh, we saw the gonna... Zed ban. We saw the Syndra ban, and I think they, they knew it was coming immediately after that. That was crazy from those guys. Hey, I've got a, a little surprise for uh, all of our fans who love advertisements. Before we get into him, the, the guy. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna drop on in on the uh, Schmecklegate ad. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. A groundbreaking day in LBLCS legal history. People would die without schmeckles. People can't live their lives. They can't get food. They can't get coriander. How would you expect to live without a schmeckle? Schmecklegate. You saw it because you were there. The people were there. Mighty fool sent money to a place it didn't need to go. What people don't realize is just exactly how involved that dingus was in all of this. The mighty fool played his hand. And I was one who benefited. 
You thought you could get away with this? I'm tired of pretending he's innocent. can again uh, thank him the guy for making sure we show all the advertisements that we have we're gonna be back in draft in just a second as well as these guys gear up for game two i just got to make sure that their sides are um correct here and we got another it takes two cash in this one going my way though as a gap tatsu zero uh, making me drink for uh, the current series score one to nothing you know, I'm, I'm happy to take that 10 seconds. Uh, you're in charge. And I will be uh, taking the 10 seconds that I do owe uh, for these guys. I, I will have to get up and get a new one and crack it because I want you to hear it again. I don't you, want you to think you got, that. You got 20. I have 20. Oh, Christ. Okay, I'll, maybe I'll get two more. I'll get two more, and then I'll come back and just, you know, let me just make sure that we have the draft up so that you can cast the draft for them, all right? I, I too, am going to have to get a, a refill here. Christ. All right, I'll put on, I'll put on some... Uh, well, put, no, no, no. I'll, not put, on a music. Second, I'll no. put on lo fi daily mix, and we will be right back. So we are uh, speeding through draft here. It looks like they uh, they assumed we were we were ready. Oh, all right, I'm back. All right, what? Hang on. They're I gotta there. do this whole one real quick. Twenty seconds. Here we go. All right. So you. Don't for me. Keep now. casting. Yeah, cast. Yep. So they're speeding through draft. Uh, no surprises here. Uh, Panther core banning away the Vagard. That's their only change. Left open the Malkai. Uh, they did stay on red side, which is interesting. I feel like blue side's definitely like the higher cryo at the moment uh we see the amumu first pick again and panther core who banned maokai game one are now going to take it for themselves so interesting uh, adaptation draft there i assume that that's going to be going to billa uh, doesn't really seem like an anti fraud champ to me <sighs> what i don't know how, how are your 20 seconds i'm not sure if those 20 seconds let me tell you it was enough it was enough i felt it'd be a real time. shame if Sammy to slap uh cash is in another 10 it would be a real shame. It would probably be illegal. 
Oh, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be for me. That one's for you. Zaya picked up. I like this on Verja a lot. This is a really big pickup. I, uh, that, yeah. Team Volatility is gonna pretty much run it back, except for the mid lane here. They're gonna drop the Asol. Asol is one of uh, Vagar's next best champs. You know, after the after the uh, you know the self name. Uh, I do like the Verja uh, Zaya quite a bit as TVA's whole strategy last game was like the Wombo, like go in, lock down the ADC. Uh, I have now been cashed in for another 10 seconds uh, by Skyline for not wanting to play League of Legends Nuzlocke last night. Proud of you. Proud of you, Skyline. All right, you're in charge. All right, that is true. Orn going to be banned away here as the top laners are probably going to be forced to play a bunch of meaty boys again and slap each other and directed cam's gonna love that by the way the mayor 133 thank you for the follow from earlier as well as hydro Stedit and dizzy white law thank you thank you for all the, all the following silas taken away once again uh still got one band left on the table the the yon i would assume is a flex though my my instinct I do feel like that's one of uh, Andy Fraud's best champs, so it could be going top, could be going mid. I feel like it's tough Personally, for the Personally, I would Aesol, think like that him. it's going top. Based on what I know about these guys and what I've seen Andy Fraud do, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility when you look at Blue Moon Jelly and what they play, but just mm -hmm. like Andy used to be called Andy Gwen, and they played like Gwen mm -hmm. Yone. Right, and that was like a hard cap. Like they're gonna win if they get one of those two champions. You ban them out. Gwen was banned out. Yon was up. They took the Yon. Interestingly, though, they're gonna take the mouth fight, so it is gonna be Yon mid uh, for Blue Moon Jelly. They're saving support for last, so they they have, to have something spicy set up here uh, for Slothman, who is the captain. I'm assuming they run the draft. We'll see where that Amumu is going this time. It was jungle last round, and it's a Renata Glask as the support pickup i like that a lot one of my favorite champs to play i think it is really well into what uh panther Corps wants to do here a lot of hype about the possibility of blue moon jelly taking that malphite mid that feels scary into a soul uh, i'm yeah, not sure that that's kind of saw last happen. game last game was something that doesn't have a lot of agency for blue moon jelly i don't feel like he was able to really get a whole lot done there's for that himself. Cled. Cled. The Rap Jr. Kled into the mouth fight. Gonna have to be aggressive early. Gonna have to try and you know, utilize that strength that Kled has. And this is the moment of truth. You've saved support this whole time, and you're just gonna lock in the Rakan. Or at least you're gonna hover it. Yeah, Rakan being hovered right now. That could be good i i think they need to pick a support that has a little bit more ap presence as well yeah malphi and malkai do have ap there's a oh, leona picked no. up i actually like that engage better it gives slothman the ability to pull the trigger with their ultimate or with zenith blade try to get in there find the right targets it also allows um like zaya can follow up because i also has like a safety button right they can just alt and try to back up from these guys coming in so yeah, I will say it, it feels a little bad to R5, like, an engage support. I feel like I, don't know, I feel like that could have came out earlier in the draft. And, I mean, maybe if you wanted to go, like, the Yo Malphite all along, that doesn't really matter. But, I don't know, it just feels like they didn't quite get, like, the maximum value out of the, uh, the counter pick there. That I agree, but I think that, yeah, they had to take Yon so early in that draft as well. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't want to get banned out in that second phase. And they had already taken the Maokai off the table, which means that unless you were going to keep ADC for that last spot, it was probably going to be, you know what I mean? They, they had showed yeah. Clint. You know, it's just like a, it's a tricky thing to be like, okay, we want what we want. Can we actually utilize this R5 or no? For sure. We'll see once, uh, once Schmeckelbedding goes live here, uh, where everyone goes is yep we are ready to go oh god by the way if i start like hiccuping it's just only because i've had to chug so often like it's really it's the sammy two slap yeah if i start hiccuping it's sammy two slaps fault i just want to be really clear about whose fault it is for my I hiccups to, i have to get a procedure done to take care of the hiccups no not from him <laughs> is he not a like a, a licensed doctor yes he he's a surgeon well, then why? I feel like if if he's a licensed surgeon, I feel like that's he keeps making me most. shorter every time I get a surgery for him. He makes oh. me shorter. I see, I see. 
And uh, we'll, we will see. Now, it shouldn't be surprising with where these guys are going, but we've been surprised in the past. We saw a very spicy Nautilus mid-pick. Um, are we going to see the Malphite be mid, or are we going to see the Yon be mid here? I would like to see the Yon mid, I think. I don't know how much pressure Malphite would have into a, an Aurelian Soul. I mean, I guess if he builds like full AP... He could uh, burst him down, but I but I think the way to beat Aurelian Soul is to really kind of like get in his face and pressure him early. And with Yo and Yo, you can like E into him, do yep. your flash and dash, you know, whatever he does, and then just get out. Uh, that would be what I would like to see here. And we saw Andy Fraud do pretty well in a uh, you know tank slap matchup last time. We did see it work out very well in the end. We saw basically that early. I think that early two v two. Going the way of Vigar and Mumu in last game was massive. So if something happens like that where then all of a sudden Yon is ahead, things can get very different. We're going to see if he's actually in that lane right here because we know the Kled's up top on Rap Jr. We saw it banned away in game one, which of course TBA did win. TBA did win. And these are best of threes. So Panther Core backs against the wall. They got to win a Yon reverse top. Scoop here. Yon, Yon Top. top i told you though interesting. like what you're saying makes so much sense in theory right should go mid right but andy gwen or andy fraud doesn't listen to you know common sense or reality or anything like that it's like oh i played two champions and i usually could just win the game on alone i didn't get the gwen the yones up i'm taking it We, I feel like we got to see Blue Moon Jelly play this. I mean, it's just, I don't know. If you're playing an Aurelian Soul, we saw what happened last time when the Vagar was able to just do whatever he wanted in the early game. I know this really didn't have like any individual kill pressure. And Aurelian Soul is very similar to that, you know, conceptually. So I feel like there's got to be a lot of pressure on Billa and Blue Moon Jelly to try and make things happen uh, with this Malphite Malkai, which isn't a sense i thought i'd be saying hey, heading into this draft game too yeah i um i really like pc's draft this time just compared you have a malphite yon which is absolutely crazy leona has all the way go in and basically malchi is going to resort to protecting zaya come these team fights i think with that ultimate with their ability to grab people that come in deep probably that kled is going to be the most menacing if a soul doesn't pop off and get big which by the way he totally could we saw it last game he's got a matchup that's probably one he hasn't played too often in the mid lane um like, if that doesn't happen and Asol isn't, like, this main focus and they can kind of play around the dive with Malphite, Leona, Yone, I really like this composition out of PC. That being said, we do know Rap Jr. plays Kled, and anything can happen when you're on a champion you like and you're good with. For sure. I actually, uh, no bias, but I much prefer uh, TBA's comp here. I think Kled and Mumu are able to go in on the on the Zaya in the back line, you know, try to bait out that ultimate. Uh, meanwhile, you got the the Yone and the Malphite that are want to go in on the Ezreal, Aurelian Soul. But you have a Renata Glass to kind of bail them out. Mm. And if you're able to get that Zaya all out by one of those uh, you know frontliners, that could be devastating for Panther Core. Um, so the way that I read this is, I much prefer uh, Team Volatility's comp here uh, in game two. Some people in chat thinking that Andy might rotate to the mid lane. On that Yone. Play against Asol. I don't know, dude. I think Andy's going to have to do whatever he wants. I think Andy's upset they lost last game. And in comms, he was like, give me you know, someone I want. I mean, I guess, at the end of the day, the you know the champs are... If, if it does happen with Yone going mid, Malphite, or Malphite going top, that's ultimately what I wanted to see coming out of the draft. That being said, I've never seen Andy uh, play the mid lane. I've never seen Blue Moon Jelly play top. Obviously, the you know, the mechanics and the principles are largely the same, but you know the lanes themselves are different. So, I'm curious to see how this goes. And how you communicate is very different too. Like where you're warding, what you're talking about. You know, I don't know who's necessarily in charge or dominating comms for either of these guys. I played a good amount of games with Slothman. I've played a couple of games with Verja. I've played a lot of games against Andy Gwen. Um, so. 
you know when you rotate like that too though you have to be on top of like where is your specific warding job especially from top to mid in terms of like protecting dragon with wards and things like that and communicating with bot lane so see what does end up happening in a minute and 30 seconds uh what we got for schmeckle bets what are the bets on this bad boy about 16 and a half 22 with a slight edge to panther core it's about the same bets as last time for these guys no i will say last game i did bet on panther core this game i did not bet on anybody because uh i didn't didn't open up my phone in time unlucky i i too bet on panther core game one but it was a situation where uh, i was in a win-win either either team volatility won or i won speckles uh this time yeah. i did put money on tva so okay. i could come out as a loser here yeah less force could be a loser everybody well well that's uh speaking of losing I have to open this now because I'm out. Number four. You guys are killing me, by the way. Number four. Only on game two. If this goes to game three. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. And definitely don't cash in another it takes two. Yeah, just, you know, if a cool play happens after that, then you can give me something, right? Or, like, maybe if, like, in a week from now when I'm streaming again, you can give me something. But maybe let's – let me drink this last one real slow here. Buggle, I won't kill you. I'm a doctor. All right. That is something you always want to hear from your doctor. That's like one of the first things you want to hear come out of their mouths. Yeah, I'll take, I'm not going to kill you. I'll take I'm not going to kill you. I'll take that all day. Let me uh, put up the... Uh, oh, these guys... Oh, we got a Coriander fill up because these guys won game one. Guys, if you're not part of the LBLCS, if you're not aware of the intricacies that uh, live within us, we fill up a Coriander every time somebody wins a game. Right there, TVA, you just got their Coriander. So... I can't wait for finals again when we can fill up two coriners on one side when team gets two wins. That's that's my favorite part. For sure. I mean, we saw that in uh, in financial, they went to a five game banger, uh, full coriners in that series. True. Got right in this one, real quick, real quick loading. No wasting time here. No no grace or uh, no oh, black Here's our screen. Here's our screen. Let's see these guys run out of here, huh? Are they gonna are they gonna run out of here? There they go. Yeah, oh, this is what this is what professionals do. This is from all the subs earlier. This is our our high budget little. Uh... This was you're doing, <laughs> and there's another cash in from from Skyline. Less force, help, Buggle, please. Ten seconds. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they have rotated that Malphite up to the top lane. Actually, good call, Andy Gwen. Oh, well, that's where they've started with this stuff. Now, I assume that because of that, they're going to go in specific places, like Blue Moon up to the top. But we will see. Oh, also, I don't know if you saw, but there was a, a hunk alert cashed in. Christ. Who's the hunk? But Buggle is the hunk. You are. I'm the hunk. I'll, you know what? I'll take being the hunk. I also got 10 more seconds for Sammy Tuslap because he's a mean doctor. Oh, okay. So he gives you the hunk alert and then immediately makes you drink for it. Oh. Ugh. All right. You know what the problem is? It's so carbonated. Like, it's all, like, just... Yeah. Like, I, I, I almost wish I, I had, like, a hard, you know, like a whiskey or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to do that for 10 seconds. No, time. I wouldn't, but I would, you know... <laughs> That sounds so miserable. Maybe I yeah, just do slap here. You see it locked in the uh, the the Yone mid Malphite top, which is what we expected to see, and there we we do see that there is a brief pause. We'll see how long this lasts. Uh, looks like there's a keyboard issue. We're just like the real LCS. We have constant technical issues. Here's one of them right now. Uh, what should we do? This could be a 15 minute pause. Now I highly doubt it. Um, but what do you want to do? Because we don't know well, how long well, First thing is, I want to ask a question. Uh, Bear TV in the chat asking how much to make Buggle shotgun his drink. What? No. What? Stop, Bear <laughs> TV. Stop. Maybe what, for the All Star friends? charity event, I'll do that live oh, on camera. Cool. But not right now. What a nice little plug there. Uh, keep an eye out in the, uh, the I believe it's going to be in the Press Corps channel uh, coming up, I believe, sometime soon uh trademark we'll be seeing uh, the all league teams announced for every uh every league and every group myself lachance popoba and praetorian we're all having a discussion today about it there should be an announcement tonight uh, about it 
Uh, actually, My... Praetorian at 2... 11 p.m. today sent me a big long message about he edited what I wrote because what I wrote was kind of dumb and he made it smart. <laughs> made it smart. That's what that's what Praetorian gets paid the big bucks for. <clears throat> right. He makes me seem smart. All I'm stars. Sure all forward. stars. Uh, him, the guy. That's what's getting announced. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, not just the all stars. You know, the first teamers get the opportunity to play, but just really the best of the best that we saw in all of these uh, leagues this season. Uh, looking forward to seeing them all kind of get recognized. You know, not everybody gets a chance to be on stream on a regular basis. And so I think it's a good idea to just kind of like give a nice little commemoration for, you know, who really popped off this season. Yeah, it's also going to be a charity event too. So uh, every year uh, we normally do at least one charity event and um, it's usually Make-A-Wish. So we're going to do Make-A-Wish again. We have a good connection with those guys over there. So we're going to do another charity stream for make a wish and you come see uh the best of the best make fools of themselves for a greater cause and the guy asking what's well, all stars well well basically the way that it's going to operate is uh you know for example like economy has two groups you know group a group b uh, we're going to see the best players from economy group a take on the best players from economy group b in a, just a standard showdown on the rift going to see that for all the different leagues you know financial executive uh, commercial's a little wonky because they've got three teams, but the announcement will say how that's getting operated. But um, yeah, basically it's just you know a four fun event to just kind of like let people showcase you know their best champions and kind of like t cap off this uh, this fantastic season of the LBLCS we've had. So I don't know where you're frozen on your screen. I'm assuming you're frozen in the mid lane with Andy I... Fraud and Vigar yep. facing off. Now Vigar very rudely has also just casted his E. Yep. Which means I'm hearing Very this talk. horrific yeah. sound over and over and over again, and it's I, mean, I kind of like the sound. It's 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 kind of gives like lullaby vibes. Yeah, if like someone was spitting while giving a lullaby into like a, a tin can, I don't know. I don't I don't like it on repeat. I need a new sound, so I'm gonna request that you now. About a few weeks ago, we we teased the idea that you might sing on cast. Um, did we? So That's... yeah, we well we did we didn't ask you if you would be willing, we just teased the idea that you might. Uh, so I was wondering if you'd be willing uh, to do a little bit of a song right now for all of our listeners I, at home. I, I will, think... here's how uh, I'm gonna entice the viewers and you, I will continuously waterfall my drink until you're done singing. I I think that the problem here is that I'm not enough drinks in to uh, to really do it justice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I mean, I have about what, half, uh, half of my current beverage. Uh, I mean, I know I'm really regretting my comment about the lullaby right there. Shot, shot, <laughs> shot on the drink for the last four. There, stop it, stop it. Yeah, I, that uh, seems like an all star. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shot, I'll shotgun on you know, all star. Me and Ev Dingus, whoever cameras on, will shotgun for all stars. Oh, is is Ev Dingus getting involved in all stars? Great guy. I mean, he he hates me, but but great guy. Does he actually hate you? <laughs> I don't know. Every time I get in a call, he just says, uh, fuck you. You know, fuck, fuck you, Aaron. And, uh, I take it to heart. It's, it's very personal. Is your name Aaron? It is Aaron. We just dox you a little bit. But I have a yep. story about an Aaron because I don't know how long yep. this pause is, right? It seems like it could go on for Forever. a very long time. Um, I play soccer. I, I coach soccer. I play soccer on the weekends. And I've now been coaching for so long that on my men's team, one of someone I, who I had coached, uh, seven years ago is now playing on it and their name is Aaron uh, and it was a very fun experience this morning when they came to play really? oh is it A.A. Ron or e -Ron? Oh, it is It is for sure A.A. Ron okay uh, that was in the chat is just checking uh, this, this person was also A.A. Ron I mean it's just the best way to spell it you know uh, immortalized by Key and Peele um, I would say it's a solid like one in every three interactions where I say to people you know my name they say oh like a ron i play uh cdm skyliner at number six position uh, and i play as a starter and i wear the captain's band so I'll, you can take that right back all right see what i did there this is a little wordplay because he's so said clever I it right back so nope. just you know i said a bunch of words guys you always remember i'm on number four right now so i'm kind of firing all cylinders mm -hmm. this is uh, the sweet spot and uh they ask if tva is ready uh well Panthercore, who are the ones that initiated the pause, have okay. said that they're ready. So hopefully, TVA responds. We can stop listening to the, We have not heard from TVA yet, but hopefully we can stop listening to this uh, this Aurelian soul mid. 
Okay, yeah, wait, maybe, but I'm still kind of on the whole, like, you sing a lullaby maybe one night. Maybe for All Stars. Maybe for, oh, oh, can you do an opening song for All Stars? An opening song? Yeah, they do, like, uh, like the Star Spangled Banner, but you're just gonna do a lullaby. You're gonna do, like, Twinkle Twinkle Little yeah. Star. Up, uh, hit up my agent, we'll see what we can, uh, get, get in the works. Alright, well, we're back into this one, and we are working! Hopefully everybody's keyboards will work throughout the rest of this one. Here we go. And there's the signature. Post pause, pause. We'll see. Hopefully, this will only be a couple seconds. Nothing too crazy here. Should be too long. Shouldn't be. You can hear my squeaky oh. chair too, because I know I'm in a wooden chair. Sammy Two Slap, your less forces agent. Hey, can <laughs> he sing "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star" at the All Star event? Yeah, Willing right. to change the lyrics to "Twinkle Twinkle Little All Stars." Yep. Well, we'll make it work. You know, comment about a little chance looking toes, and we'll comment on uh. You know, the Robot Man conspiracy, we'll find a way to... I will out. rewrite Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but oh my, Sloth Man does hit the Zenith Blade right there. A lot of damage onto Galson, below half health right there. Yeah, that's just that a level 2 uh, advantage there for the Xyleona. Getting the cleanse out of Ezreal, getting all that health out of Ezreal. Going the Conqueror, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Very aggressive. Um... With that kind of play style, definitely gonna gonna be in those elongated team fights. They think so. There is Rap Junior getting aggressive up top, but yeah, I mean it is tough for uh, you know, to really wear through a malfight like this. I agree. An astute observation. I love when I make a point that can't be uh, contested. Nope, can't make it. Can't make any contestion. Can't contestology. No consumption. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of consumption right now. Yeah. Even without Sammy Two, I, I feel like you'd be just tired of drinking at this point with how much uh, how much uh, Sammy is. I feel like if drink. I stop now, I could die. I gotta keep it going. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. Once you're this deep, it's just you gotta you can't stop. Andy Fraud going a little deep himself. There's definitely an expression like that fits that saying that I can't. Uh, that I can't quite think of off the top of my head. But but as long as you keep it going, you know, it can't spill over. That's right. Go with the flow, man. Sloth man. Posturing a little bit aggressively right there. Does connect on the Zenith Blade. Does find a little bit of CC as well as Renata's pushing him back. Versia trying to find as much damage as possible. The wave is hitting them, though. It's a couple hundred they're going to take from that. Whoa, ch chat revealing some deeply personal information there i know i don't know if i can stand for it uh Bella coming in bot lane and they're gonna be spotted out this does look like tvs and bieber walk off in time back to Bills, lane for a little through. bit of damage real quick yeah we uh we didn't see it there but good uh good cue there by camp to uh push away the maokai didn't have an opportunity to go for like a flash w onto mm -hmm. a galston might look for blue moon jelly gonna be pushing into rap jr right now I would love to play karaoke with you, Les Forrest. Dude, thanks, man. Well, if we're ever in the area, you know, I, uh, not, not too far from, uh, from Ev Dingus. So if it, if the situation pops up, I, I guess I'll owe, I'll owe the LPLCS one. Hell yeah. I don't think that I, uh, I sang John Denver. That does, that definitely doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Need to have less force singing while buggle shotguns. Yeah, that's that. As long as you're donating to a good cause, but might be a kill donated right here to Versa right there as they pick up first blood. Yep. And I like how a camp didn't burn anything. Uh, you weren't getting out of that either way. Mm -hmm. So save your summoners for another day. Galson has to be a little careful. Looks like this is just going to be an early dragon and a much cleaner early game here from Panther Core so far. Yeah, really good play from these guys to start it off. Uh... Just good aggression, too. I like Slothman having something where he's more aggressive. I think, like, Milia, like, you can't have... That's not his play style. It doesn't suit how he wants to play the game. Yep. I think this suits him a lot better. Exactly. When you're in playoffs like this, you want to set your players up for their best play style. You know, that's why I didn't like the Nautilus mid very much last game, because mm -hmm. it's in the meta, but it, it doesn't feel like a Blue Moon Jelly pick to me, you know? It's like, pick something that they're comfortable on, pick something that they're good at, rather than trying to make the meta work. Flash out from Blue Moon Jelly. But gonna get kept on by a Rap Jr.
Man, I'm like, I just keep having like these micro burps from all yeah. of the things that I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get rid of them before like a fight happens. Yeah. So I'm over like here like micro awesome. burping, trying to like put it away from the microphone. Andy Frog going in right now though, finding a lot of damage on the ASOL actually. Chat talking way too much about uh, <laughs> about karaoke and John Denver. I, I think we gotta bring it back to this game, guys. Yeah, well, guys, we will stream less for us at his next next time he's in karaoke. We will stream it, but for now. The bad guys semifinals. Bad guys semifinals. The the villains. Both these teams know it. Both these teams love it. Uh, haven't really seen a lot out of Damien so far. I feel like there was a much more active early game, but but you do see that he's got quite a CS lead over the Maokai. Probably going to look to get a first base off and maybe look to prioritize this Rift Herald. Um, that's kind of where my mind goes. But yeah, actually able, looking uh -oh. at Andy here. Yeah, three-man fight right here. It's Andy Frog could be in trouble. Does use that ultimate, get further back. But Curse of the Sad Mummy followed up by a massive ultimate. Everything connecting and Vigar actually is able to pick that up. Yep, and that is the strength of TVA. The jungle mid mind meld, although they're actually in a little bit of trouble here. Interesting positioning right there. A good amount of damage can be popped onto him. They're actually looking to go aggressive here. They know they used all their ultimates, but look at that damage onto them. Ezreal's going to follow through with a little bit more of his own. One more auto attack from Virgil could mean they finish him off. Can they find the kill in time? They can't. Flash out as Asol looking yeah, for a kill right here. Up. He should be able to pick it up, and he does. Slothman now in a lot of trouble. Blue Moon Jelly, can you help Slothman? You can't. It's a double kill, 4-0 on Asol. And I'm sorry for the cast curse, everybody. I said how TBA played it slow. They weren't you know, making a whole lot of proactive plays, and now they just get four kills out of nowhere. All on to Vagar. We, we saw this story last game, and Asol, eight minutes in, has that Rod of Ages. That is... Horrifying. Nutty. That is horrifying. Bear, obviously I am trying to cast or curse my team into finals to take you on. I mean that's kind of a kind of a silly question to be honest. Yeah, Bear, what are your takes right now on this whole series since you gotta play the winner you know, you gotta play the bad guy here. You know, when when they were on the cast uh, after their series win, they said that it would be a blessing if Panther Core loses. I wonder after watching TVA if that's you know where, where their mind is at. Maokai looking aggressive here, but knows there's no flashes. He says, I'm scared. Does, doesn't specify why he's scared. Frog guy 777 crying about their schmeckle. Blue Moon Jelly trying to run away from Clyde up here in the top lane, but Rap Jr. says, directed Cam, look at me. Andy Frog does find a good amount of damage onto Asol right there. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. When you're playing this Aurelian Stole, you're kind of just stuck in one spot the whole time. Mm -hmm. So really easy for a champion like Yone to just slash him up a million times and then just dash back with the E. Conceptually, I like the mid lane matchup. So far this game, I feel like Andy Frog up until that big play mid was doing pretty well in this matchup, but not his fault that they gave over four kills to the, uh, the Asol. No, but good that they did, and that Q being able to finish off targets that are pretty low life means that he's able to pocket that gold much more easily when you have these early game skirmishes, so picking up all four of those kills. I mean, there's a target on his back now, though. It's a Deathless series, though. Deathless series. Definitely strong early runner for MVP here if this game does end in two series, or, you know, two games. Right. We're certainly not at that point yet, though. They're only down 500 gold, despite the you know, the kill disadvantage. And, and we saw last game where they were tremendously down in kills, but really never fell that far behind in gold up until like that last minute. So we'll see if TVA is able to play a little bit cleaner macro, maybe able to utilize you know the early gold that they have as a. They're looking Amy for might dingy here. here. Yeah, Moon was taking a lot of damage from Blue Moon Jelly, but here comes a camp roaming up here as well as Billa and Andy Frog clearing out some visions. They're going to go in over here. On the mouth fight, this is going to be a 3v4 if they decide to fight this right now. Andy Frog looking for something on these guys. Blue Moon Jelly taking a lot of damage. A massive ultimate from Asol. Can he get out of this? He can't. Rap Jr. is going to pick up the kill onto the mouth fight up there. 5-2 to two goes the scoreline. It looks like they're going to get the Herald. Damien looking like a, a little bit of a bait there. Just trying to entice Billa. Trying to entice Blue Moon Jelly to go in on him. Just this sad little mummy. Got the uh, the Kledult coming in. Had the Aurelian Soul. And that kill, unfortunately, didn't go into a Vigar's pocket. But I think if you're TVA, you'd probably like to see the gold, you know, diversify it a little bit. So they're able to pick up the Rift. I think Panther Core is going to get this Dragon, which is good for them because it will be number two. So they do have that win condition. 
Less force. I did have a slight pause. I'm at 11, 11 right now, 11, 12. Just making sure you're somewhere near me. I am a couple seconds ahead, but I think that's better. Yeah. actually, because then fine. I can uh, I can shut up when something's about to happen. Once it starts happening, absolutely. They are on the dragon right now, like you were talking about. Yep, just gonna just gonna secure it. Although it looks like maybe TVA gonna try to contest, but I think they get here too late. Maybe, maybe not. Damien is here looking for the Blast Gun. Does go over, and now it's really low. Can they finish it off? Red Team does get the smite in the end. They might be able to pick up the kill onto Amumu as well. Should be able to secure it, and Bill is going to get that kill. They go to 1-1-1, one, one, and one. but two Drakes to start this game going in the pocket of Panthers. And that is just that classic trope of you didn't need to go for the seal. You know, everyone wants to be the hero, but ultimately, you're, you're already winning the game. In Damien's know. defense... They're pissed off. They had two barons stolen yeah, from them. They, last they game. are for sure. They uh, they went into a uh, to chat uh, the community channel and kind of said something about their smite. So he wanted to get one of his own. <laughs> not quite able to pick it up, but ultimately it's not it's not the end of the world. But yeah, we would have liked to have seen them just like concede it, maybe go get some plates, buy or something to that effect. Oh, <laughs> Him, the guy, said, I went to go get groceries. How is Vagar 4 no? Well. Uh, what happened is they killed four people all at once. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to it. I happened mean, about seven minutes into the game. They immediately went back and picked up a Roa. So, now we're here. Crouch Master, the astute analysis, he ate people. Um, I don't actually think that's what, uh, I mean, I know the Rallying Soul's a dragon, but I feel like he just spits on people. I don't actually see any, like, consumption. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Well, you got groceries, so did he is a pretty good response, though. Mm -hmm. He's getting fed. Crouch Master sub on Team Volatility Academy. Rooting on for the boys. Not yeah. too crazy of a game here. No, outside of that one fight, it's been pretty slow, I would say. You know, last game, I felt like there was a lot more, like, frantic fighting. This time, it just feels like a little bit more of a lull. Maybe after that that quadra kill that Asol got, Panther Corps want to play it slow. They don't want to. They don't want to make things worse because they saw what it was like for this mid laner to get super fed. Chat, that is a far too philosophical question for me. Going in pretty deep right here. Banishross is going to connect massive ultimate curse to Sad Mummy as well as Andy Fraud should be taken down. Does get a shield, but is ultimately deleted and now a 5-0 and a soul roams the map 5-0 and o, unfortunately though that rift's not going to get any plates which stinks a little bit if you are a tva but you're still getting that mid tower some pro oh, oh. Yeah, massive flash right there into the mid lane you made the action then we saw it can't can he get taken down a lot of damage onto him who's gonna pick up the kill who's gonna get that gold it's gonna go to that maokai right there 800 shutdown gold Slothman making his way to the mid lane here as well can they see cm zenith blade should be coming out if he gets into range a massive ultimate's gonna pick up a kill though billa gets taken down by galson Woo. huge snipe there from galson coming from the bot lane utilizing that cross map as your ultimate uh, we saw it last game. Uh, he was pretty on point with those uh, those long shot barrages, and right there picks up a kill. So yes, it stinks that the Asol dies, uh, but you're able to get some gold back in the Ezreal's pocket. And that is a tower down though. First turret down for Panther Core. Yeah, and uh, you know gold relatively even here because of that CS differences that they have in those lanes about. 11 oh nice use of the teleports though they have that hex that can they find some damage good from a camp to push him away static shiv finished up on Persia right now does mean they hit a little bit harder here absolutely it looks like uh i think that that is a rylize that vegar is building into like just looking at it at first glance um not a mid laner so i might be wrong but grab junior gotta be a little careful here yeah, and ultimate is going to get dropped onto him. Andy Frog catches all the way up, taking a little bit of damage. Billa's in the vicinity. Nice turn right there, trying to find damage onto Andy Fraud. But Maokai doing such a good job helping out his teammate. He's trying to waddle away, but he cannot Penguin walk his way to safety. And Billa somehow was trying to gift that kill over to Andy Fraud and picks it up himself. A little meanie there at camp, stopping the base, disrupting those timers. Uh, they do get a tower mid, so that is more gold back into Vagar's pocket. Uh, we're going to see the resets come out here. I, I think if you're TVA, you have to contest this dragon. You don't want to just give over soul point 
when you're the stronger team. But it looks like they're trying to catch out Andy Fraud top, who doesn't have the uh, the ultimate. Andy Fraud doesn't have ultimate, doesn't have flash. Is going to start that recall, though. And A-Soul is just going to go for those minions up there. That's Galson down here in the bot lane. Gotta be careful. Uh, Blue Moon does have the ultimate. Finish that Jack shows as well, so... Pretty annoying to fight up close. And I camped kind of in a bad spot here. Yeah, Zenith Blade does come out. It does connect. A lot of damage not going to be followed up because they are hitting him and they are knocking him back. But a really good ultimate keeps it safe for a little bit longer. It will not be enough in the end. They're trying to gift the kill over to the right person. And it is going to go to Virgin this time. And that's just where uh, TV... Again, Panther Court always seems to be the first on the map. First to make these, uh, these setups. And right there at camp, trying to get Vision by himself. But there's just no... Andy Nothing Fraud over the wall trying to find some damage. Zaps back though to the mid lane. Now they're on the dragon. Could be a big fight right now. Big ultimate is available for Ace. Always going over there. Just looking for Andy Fraud. And they find a lot of damage, but a good flash away keeps him safe for a little bit longer. Blue Moon Jelly should go down, but this should mean Drake is safely secured into the pockets of Panther Core. Yep. You give up the Malphite, but you do get that third dragon, and you're now on soul point. It is a hex tech, which it feels so good. I feel like for the Zaya and, and also for the Zion. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get the second rift, which is which is fine. I mean, it's a constellation piece. Yep. The TVA needs to be more proactive. This next dragon, they they they're ahead of the pace right now. There's no reason that uh, Panther Core like should be like on soul point. You know, they they gotta get down there quicker next time. They gotta you know be in the spot to not be the ones that are caught out like that. But yeah, when we get to that point, though, a soul is going to be so massive that Rylai's finished. The Roa almost fully stacked over here. Andy, a lot of damage on to Rap Jr., but it's not going to matter in the end. It, it's just, you need to get in position earlier, right? It's just, are you in time with your rotations? Exactly. And and with that, you know, you got to have a buddy system. When you're walking into brushes, you, unless you're the Malphite or you're a Scion, probably can't walk anywhere by yourself you know you gotta you gotta call on somebody to come with you just serve as a little bit of backup this top tower might go down uh blue moon jelly maybe not too contested they're actually just gonna walk it off three kills on Versia. three kills on billa is all six that panther have right now but can they fully regain control of this game a little bit of a gold deficit but not massive overall, they just need to get some towers. Already extended trade up here in the top lane. Dreshy Kim loves this kind of stuff. Oh, oh this time, uh, oh, Rap doing yeah, a lot big of damage. down here in the bottom lane. Slothman taking a lot of damage. Can they escape from this? A nice flash over the wall keeps them alive for a little bit longer, and reinforcements do arrive in time, so they are going to survive. Yeah, you don't love Leona not having flash for that, you know, snap engage. But if it means not dying, it, you know, is a worthwhile trade. They're going to pop Rift Tail Bot, try to get this tower. They should be able to walk this in with three members. But don't think it's going to get much more after that. They should be taking this tower down. Andy might have to back up right now. It does have people lurking in the shadows looking for something massive and there's a three-man double ultimate they do as much damage as they can can they finish these guys off a couple more hits and that's one gone ace will take it out young's gonna pick up that kill leona picks up the second kill onto renata and everybody is here cled teleports in version has Rome from the mid lane down here can they kill sloth man he's trying to he does rap jr picks up one kill in all of this mayhem it's three to one right now in this nine to nine in the score trying to go forward find a little more damage onto damien they should be able to pick him up and they do it's a double kill for zaya yeah, that is a massive pickup there. They were trying to escort that Rift Herald in. They were trying to get a little bit more and just the, the, the again, the first read from Panther Core, get that Vagar down. Uh, huge shutdown going into, actually, I actually don't see who the pocket uh, went into there, but massive trade there and the gold is now in their favor and they're the ones that are on sole point. So this is going to be that much harder for, uh, for TVA to walk into that brush into that bot side. Yone and... picked up Asol, Leona picked up Renata, and Zaya got the other two in that fight. Yep. Yeah, huge play there from a Blue Moon Jelly in particular on the Malphite. People yeah. were saying this is a signature pick, maybe not a signature pick top, but certainly looking uh, proficient here. 
as proficient as you know an 027 stat line can look but that's also that's the thing i was talking about when i was like i like this comp that was why i like this comp right there right knocked three people up yon goes in with their ultimate keeps them knocked up engaged taking damage the entire time and they're able to basically insta blow up two of them yes renata has her w kept herself alive for a little bit longer but like when it comes off when it works it can be really effective we're gonna see this tower go down top and again it looks like panther core the first ones in on this bot side i i, I don't know i don't know how uh tva is gonna look to play this out rap jr super low top you got the amumu walking out of base but you, you gotta you gotta get down here sooner you gotta clear out the vision panther core has you gotta try and establish the vision for yourself but uh for now panther core can always just decide to go baron instead that's the advantage of having a 3-0 drake lead yeah, this Aesol mm -hmm. is still a really big problem. They killed him so quickly in that last fight that, that, you know, they're not even maybe thinking about it so much. Rap Jr. is in a heap of trouble, though. Trying to run away, but Verja should be able to pick him up. Not long for this world. Gonna be dead for about 15 seconds after this dragon, and it looks like they're just gonna probably go for the Baron instead. I don't know if TBA really has a way to get back into this one. Uh, like, into the spam pit, rather. Yeah, they've already started Verja making their way here. They're not burning it quickly, though. And Yon is down by that dragon. I'm wondering if they're... They're not even in the pit there. Or it spawns right now. Yeah. So they're going to pick up the dragon, but that is going to be a Baron. And a little early on the smite there, but it's all right. We've seen him steal before. Yeah, we've seen him steal. Got to be careful here now for TVA. I mean, they're just going to walk this down mid. Um, going to be a little bit tough here for, for Galson. You got to be really careful with your positioning. Yeah, one little misstep here, especially while these guys have Baron, can cost you possibly the entire game at this point. Looking for something on them. A very aggressive play from Andy Gwen. Maybe a little bit too far, as now Aesol is trying to go aggressive. Here comes the Kled ultimate. They're going to dive in right there. The heal getting dropped. Oh, a massive ultimate's going to set up three of them. There's Curse of the Sad Martin. He's going to find form. Andy Gwen trying to find as much damage on him as he can. Massive ultimate from Malphite's going to knock down two. He picks up a double kill. Now they're chasing them into the back line. That's going to be a third one going down. Virgil picks it up. It's a clean ace while they have Baron five for zero. And that's just going to be game. TVA thought that they had an angle. They thought with Baron that they could fight them there straight up. And it, and it looked good, to be fair. The the composition looks solid there. But when you have the Malkai, the, the Malphite, the Yone snap follow-up, it just, you know, you get shredded. And that's going to be a game. That's going to bring us to a Game 3 series, which is what we expected coming in. These are two of the best teams in commercial. And they're learning lessons about each other as the series goes on. So. Yeah, this, this Yone pick... Definitely very scary. Not sure if we'll be on the table. Zaya as well as Panther put us to game three. That Malphite actually, that Malphite all onto Aesol. Aesol was doing all of that damage. That is what turned that fight entirely. Yep, just really able to negate this Aurelian soul. I think, I think TVA just playing a little too hockey as that game went on you know they were that play bot lane where they were up but panther core able to just catch them out without the cled without the Ezreal, uh bit off more than they could chew and mm -hmm. that really i think kind of like turned the tides of the game and then being able to catch out uh rap junior top get the baron and then just have that big team fight i think i think it's gotta be a little bit of a wake-up call for tva i mean you you played well in the early game but like clearly you gotta you know, be on your toes with that uh, with Panther Core. Well, you get two things here, right? You get side selection as well, right? So yep. both games prior, it was red side chosen by Panther Core. And now we're at game three. Whenever you lose in playoffs after game one, right, it's all about side selection and talking about how do we now fix what we just did with either side selection or with draft or what how we're gonna approach this game. What's our our game plan are we going to play full team fight are we going to try to skirmish are we going to look to try to play a 4-1 split right so these conversations are probably happening right now and what do you think that they're going to they're going to take red side it looks like yeah so they're switching up which is very different from what we've seen like most of playoffs in commercial it's mostly been a blue side prio but this time uh in this game really all three uh the team that got to choose side picked red every single time so my initial read is that they're picking red side because they want to set up Vagar. They they mm. want to. I mean, he's clearly been the you know monster these first two games, and you want to put him in a spot where 
he sees everything on the table and get him the absolute best matchup. He probably, I, I think I liked TVA when they had, you know, the beefy Malphite top, you know, they had a really simple, like, go buttons. Whereas I guess that last time, you know, with the Renata and the Kled, there was a little bit of, like, dissonance there a little bit of you know some people want to go in some people want to go out and they weren't quite able to it's harder to layer what you're trying to do with the comp that they picked like for yone and malphite it was like oh they're in the air that's my cue um and i can do it pretty quick like malphite can fire it off right away yone takes like half a second right renata's alt takes a little bit longer for it to get to you it has a very slow projectile speed and kled has got to charge all the way and get into you. So, like, just trying to balance the speed at which you're able to engage, too, makes a difference. It for sure does. We, I think you're going to see, I think you're going to see some Malphite Pryo. I'm not sure if they're going to, you know, take it away or they're going to ban it. But clearly both these teams really want that Malphite, that snap engage. Yep. Clearly multiple people are able to play it. I don't know what you give up though. I you can't. I don't think you can give up the Gwen. I don't think you can. No. If you if you're a Panther core, you can't give up the Varish. You can't give up the Vagar. So it comes down to. And what was the other Graves. pick they were they were banning? What was the other pick? Was it uh, Panther core is banning Graves both times Graves. for the jungle. Yep. Which is uh, Damien's signature champ. And it's pushing him onto that Moomoo, but last two games as yeah. well. So maybe that's an adaptation Panther core looks to make. Unless they look to pick the Malphite first, but if you're picking Malphite first, that's definitely a potential recipe for disaster. Yeah, that can harm your chances of having a lane that's fun at all. Yeah. Not not that playing Malphite in lane is typically very fun in the first place, but it is less fun really if your screen's yeah. gray more often. <laughs> that so. is a, that is astute analysis. <laughs> trust me the video I know. game is more fun to play when you actually get to play yeah when you're actually able to play the game um yeah I, i'm not sure what these guys are talking about because it's one to one in two games that actually were really close uh that last fight could have gone either way in the way it happened it was just really clean from malphite it was really clean from yon and they happened to have baron when they got the ace they don't have baron when they get that ace they probably don't end right there no absolutely not big difference there in the uh, the timers there i think game one was like a 36 minute slug fest yeah i think that came ended at like 22 minutes they got the baron like right at right around 21 minutes and then that fight happened immediately, immediately after they didn't even back i don't i mean maybe one or two of them had had recalled but other than that it was basically right to mid lane yep and they are back they're gonna get in order now as they Jump up and down. Slothman finally on the bottom. And we should be getting a link if we haven't. I'm going to bother them for it. I do have a link. Did you? Can you send it to me? Oh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like you might have joined in just a little. Or immediately after I got you. Where? Powerful. Powerful chat. Powerful. I will switch where the... Uh... The faces are covering too because we do have a little switcheroo right there. For sure, do blank slate there. Oh, look at the poetry in motion here. <laughs> we uh, let's see. It looks like they're about ready. Uh, how's chat feeling? Yeah, we had chat check maybe. Chat check. Asking for your opinion. It's a, it's a dangerous game, but uh. You know, while we got this little bit of a lull, I think they're really kind of talking strategy, uh, probably more so on the, the TVA side, I feel like. Uh, I would anticipate we have another, like, minute or two before draft actually takes off. Solid 6 out of 10. Hey, you're welcome, by the way, for checking in on you. Just supper. Just supper. No, I want to see Thresh, Milia, or Ash here. We have a good... More it takes you to think. I'm maybe not. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like I thought I was gonna be done, you know. But uh, well, surely we're not gonna see another cash in for you here. Surely, uh, I mean, I know Sammy Two Slap made quite a bit of schmeckles the uh, financial finals uh, betting on Team Fried Chicken. So surely we don't see another thousand port out here. Draft is live. Graves is the first band. First band. What was the other bands they were doing? It was uh, Vagar and uh, 
Varys has been banned both times here. But do you think Vagar they're on blue banned. side now? Do you think TVA has discussed that like they might need to ban Varys if it's not taken off here? Because this is two bans, no Varys ban yet. I I don't know. Ten that's, for that's an interesting call. I, Fuck I don't you, know if... Sammy. <laughs> All right, you definitely didn't get uh, didn't get coerced into making that uh that Smeckle cash in. Uh, there's the Varys, so it's got kind of a moot point. They were d- mulling, maybe banning something else. I think, but. Maybe they're yeah, trying then, to see like can we can we coerce it out of them if we don't ban yep. it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. In the classic Yora cover at the end here. All right, here we go. Ten. Got ten going on. TVA's last ban again is the Gwen. So I think bans have been very consistent throughout this series. Just the one switch. I feel like first pick Malkai. Um, a lot of con- a big contested pick here in this uh this series. Probably going into Billa, who we saw have a pretty good game on it last time. He had a time. great game on it. I thought he played really well. I thought he did a good job doing what he was supposed to do, ulting at appropriate times, uh, trying to find picks early. So, I, you know, I'm not I'm not harsh in that man's vibe at all. Mm-hmm. No steals, though. He didn't steal any objectives. Didn't steal any, it was just awful with the steals that time. Terrible he actually steals. just secured them all. Yeah. Didn't actually need to steal. <laughs> Red pick. They're gonna just run it back with the Amumu. I was kind of hoping for something a little more. Nope. Green uh, man. A little yeah. Green man. A little short green man. I, I like Amumu, but but when I think of Damien, I think of more of like the Wukongs. The, well, like the you, Bai. You discussed a camp could play it as well. He could still play it, but we have seen it go into uh, Damien's pockets both times. And yep. there's the Melio. Yep. Chat was asking for it. Super strong champ at the moment, and TVA is very practiced on it. Yep, it is going to be locked in, picked up for TVA here. Both teams have a game under their belt. Next game wins. They will be the bad guys in the finals. They will for sure be the bad guys no matter what. Whoa. Whoa. see the Lulu Cog. There it is. There, there it is. Super strong lane. Uh, as Lulu is my most play this season, I love this meta with Lulu Cogma. Uh, haven't actually gotten to play it since the rework, but or the patch rather we'll see what the adc pick here is i mean you could see jinx you could see i mean really anything can go up but they're actually gonna save it and they're just gonna pick the orange i like this both times i, I like this a lot games. actually um yep. this is like late game like you know that kogma lulu is going to be a menace to you this gives you late game really strong items it also you can layer this cc really easily the orn horn with the curse of the sad mummy from a mumu coming in um so this is really strong. Also, I feel like Milio was like a, was the counter that Slothman picked for Amumu because the ult kind of counters Amumu's ult. Um, mm-hmm. So I like that they picked that together. I like the direction that they're going in. They're taking the Yone off the table again. They don't want Andy Gwen to have that. I totally agree. Um, also, Crouch Master, I thought that was hilarious in chat. Very much enjoyed it. Don't ban me. Wow. I like the don't ban me. That's what really got me going. <laughs> Don't ban me. It's like you realize you said something so egregious that it probably warranted to get but banned. Still just... hasn't typed like still you could still change what you typed in before you type and then you just type in yeah. don't ban me. Uh chat asking about the Melio Lucian. I don't really think Galson is much of a Lucian player. I mean maybe like in norms or maybe a flex game here and there, but I don't think that that's in his wheelhouse. I'm thinking more of like like Jinx is the first champ that comes to mind. Um, I mean, you could see like Zaya, you could see, you know, things like. It's tough because you know what you're playing into as well. So yeah. like, I don't think that in this instance, Ezreal, we've seen the Ezreal being picked a lot. I don't think this is really a good angle for Ezreal. I like Jinx more. Yep. And there's the Jinx Melio is still a super strong lane mm-hmm. and can probably go toe to toe with uh, Lulu Kogma early on. You know, it's not the most dominating early game. Last a lot picks. of scaling from TVA. Could be Oriana, looks like for Panther Core. I like Oriana a lot. I'm a big Oriana player myself. I thought you were an Orn one trick. That's what it, that's what this copy pasta says. But can't believe everything you see online. Okay, less force. The, the internet never lies, though. <laughs> Abe Lincoln said that. Ah, oh, God, kids! Abe Lincoln was alive during the internet. Just want you to know. Who, who's taking finals right now? Who, who's going to use that information? Importantly, oh my god. I love the aggression out of Panther Core right now. Andy Fraud Fiora. That is one of, I would say, the signature champs. I mean, I've had the misfortune of having to play an in-house against Andy yep. Gwen's uh, yep. 
Fiora. He's a mean Could person. be a bit of a challenge. Andy Fiora, here he comes. Mid lane pick. You've set everything up for Vagar. What is his answer? And it is the Ari. Ari's a good pick um, because they need to have some type of catch potential as well. I also think they're being like, hey, we're going to give you a little bit of energy here to try to find this Kog'Maw in the back area. Also, you need to escape Fiora because with how they are set up right now, Milio, yeah, he helps. Orn has CC, Amumu has CC, but their CC needs to be used to go in. So Ari, you need to have a mid laner that has their own tools to escape the pressure that they have. Yeah. Uh, now, I did say coming into the series that there was some talk about maybe an Orn mid angle. I don't know if this is the game to, to bust it out. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like Orn into Oriana is probably like no fun. That would be a uh, farm lane. Back. I'm pretty sure. Uh, number number twenty, uh, got Tatsu. What number is Garfield? The the twenty eighth president was Woodrow Wilson. Is this a game you've been playing with people? <laughs> so so Skyline is a uh, is an IRL friend of mine, and that is one of my. You can't really call it a barge fit because it's not super interesting, but. <clears throat> Growing up, I loved the, like, I would rent a president book at the library, like, over and over. Yeah. And would just, like, I, I know the entire, the, the entire history of the presidents. I can get them in order, name, everything. Uh, <laughs> why do you know this? That's a great question, Crouch Master. Uh, not very useful information. It's a fun thing to know. Like, <laughs> it's fun to be right about something that no one else is going to be right about in the room. Uh, that is always fun. So in, in one metric, it's entertaining. Like right now, you just entertained a bunch of people yeah, with this trick. Entertained a bunch of people. Who is number 47? That's a that's a great question. You know, we'll have to see in a, in a, about a year and a half. You know, I'm not not too big on uh, speculation, you know. It's we'll, me. We'll to, it's going to be me. It's a puzzle. I mean, you're like kind of the president of the LBLCS. I'm so like, backed you know, by a Coriander Corporation. Got a lot of money coming in from them. That, that is a hard one. Who is the first president? Uh, I believe, actually, once upon a time, the first president played in the LBLCS, uh, George Washington. I think yeah. that used to be a financial team back in the day. Well, there was a team. It was Joe Vibin, George W. Cush, um, and a bunch of other names like that once in the LBLCS. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll never know if we get a presidential team. Putting your life savings on Buggle being president, you know, are there betting lines for that? I feel like you can make like so much money if you uh if I won the presidency, like, yeah, and if I did it with the name Buggle and not my real name, yeah, yeah that would be pretty wild. <laughs> well, 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 if you uh if you were an active president, what would be your first uh, first course of action while we're loading in here? My first course of action, dude, fucking pimp out the Oval Office. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna do like an executive order or anything. I'm just gonna make my place cool. I can't wait to cast from the Oval Office. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah cast from the office i mean that would be kind of a sick drop uh backdrop you know i know we don't do like face cams on the lblcs but like if, if you have you know that big you know eagle or whatever you know mm -hmm. in the background i feel like oh, i feel like dude. you have to i'd have so many that. eagles dude i would just tell them go get me a bunch of eagles put them in the oval office and i'd have them in there with me this is a good idea less force yeah T take notes take notes all right eagles <laughs> It's just a piece of paper. I have a real piece of paper in every pencil and I'm writing the word Try eagles. eagles. That's all I wrote. You're so. going to find that paper in like eight months. I have no <laughs> idea why the hell you wrote just eagles. Eagles. Uh, if somebody is doing... Do we do the Shmeckle bets yet? I do not think... We uh, distributed. Bets. Is Val here? Val, can you get the next Shmeckle bet going? Because I was kind of just relying on you at this point. No, I mean, they were so adamant uh, game one that it was uh, their responsibility, so... Yeah, they really didn't want me to touch it. They, were, they yelled. They yelled at me. They they did yell. Well, to be fair, they've been getting yelled at in community quite a bit about their uh, as as they're mentioning their economy finals content piece. Uh, the people are demanding. You know, it's uh it's the high quality content that we've been delivering this season. You know, want to get it out before I think it's at eight thirty is the economy game. So, yep, that's understandable. It's understandable, but it won't be forgiven. Let it be known. You know, 
Speaking of things, please forgive my bladder because you guys have, like, I actually really have to go to the bathroom. I was like, I could probably hold it for the next game. And I'm realizing that's a horrible idea that you've made me drink many things. I will be right back. Uh, take it away for the next three minutes, Lust Force. Next three minutes, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, um, Crouch Mass, I'm making a very good point. You know, my, my hyper fixation on the presidents did not spill over into uh, the vice presidents. But I do know that, like, early on, it was very often, like, whoever the vice president was would then be, like, the next president. So it was not, in fact, James Monroe, like, my guess. It was Aaron Burr. I just had to look it up, unfortunately. Got a minute 16 to get in your Schmeckle predictions. Please uh, ramp this up. I need to make some Schmeckles here. I've lost about 5,000 so far on the cast. No. Yeah. Oh, Aaron Burr was the first VP. Oh, my my apologies. Who was the second VP then, Sammy Two Slap? You I'm assuming you have his Wikipedia open. George Clinton. That doesn't sound right. I'm just <laughs> That sounds like a little bit of fake news. Ah uh, well. I don't know, maybe you're right. This I could be eating my words. Every time I vote, I lose them all. Look, man, I'm right there with you. I've done it too many times. What do you know? It was George Clinton, who was also the vice president for uh, James Madison. That's uh, uh, a... Okay. All right. Okay. We're Sammy two side little bitch. All right. Come here, Sammy. I'm gonna fight you, dude. I got another one. You think you could take me down? Yeah. You fool. What a what a fool. <clears throat> Chan the Risen. Free I'm gonna go out on a limb yeah. and say that is uh that is probably Chanter, the uh you know Flex ADC for Great. Panther Corps. I'm gonna call that out and say not true. Probably Jackie Chan. Yeah, pro um, oh, that, that's actually probably just as likely. Huh? She's Johnny John right. Bottle joins. You know what? I'll do whatever I'm doing. <laughs> well, you got another 10 seconds. Here we go. 40 seconds left. Uh, I, I just got to say shout out to Sammy Two Slap for, for the dedication. You know, making sure that Buggle can't sober up here. <laughs> Anytime there's been a bit of a lull, <sighs> you're not getting any time for him to like consume bread or, you know, getting those like bread? Carbs. Yeah. I'm getting all my carbs like through the drinks. <laughs> How many carbs is this? I don't know. There's not really nutritional Look, facts that, on Coriander's. That's a great point. We've never seen Chancer and Jackie Chan in the same room. This is very similar to the LaChance Little Robot Man debacle. I've never I seen LaChance, Le Chanter, Jackie Chan, or Little Robot Man in the same room. Just to be clear. Just to be clear about the people who I've seen. Like it's wider and wider. Just to be clear. Oh, I didn't move the picture. Shit. Hang on. I gotta... Oh, fuck it. No, it's, I gotta give the... I gotta redo the fill up too. Fuck. Oh god. So much dragging. Can you guys see this on your screen? Good. I gotta do this to answer it for him. <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like we got several uh, members of High Alert actually tuning into the uh, community channel, watching this series with uh with bated breath, waiting to see who is gonna be their opponents uh, sometime next week. No idea when that's going to be. Dude, check uh, this. Obviously, Bear, oh, Bear TV yeah. was awfully sad um, in the, the scheduling ticket. Uh, it's been, he's been sitting in there for days with uh, with nobody that's not on staff. So he's looking forward to see, <laughs> seeing who's going to join him. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Oh, I can't even scroll more out. Ten What? How? Where? When? I can't, <laughs> I'm having Sammy trouble scrolling out. So let's – all right, I'll do ten more. Here we go. I put it there. I put it at the bottom. It just took me a second. I had to change all this stuff. It is one to one, Zellius. Uh, this is match point. TVA won game one. Ugh. Panther Court won in 22 minutes last game. <sighs> yeah, that was like awfully aggressive, him, the guy. Like, that's way too many question marks. Yeah, him, the guy. That's your cap. That's your, You hit it. No more question marks rest of the year, okay? That was too many. The year. Uh, rest of the season. Rest of the season. Come back next season. You can use question marks again. No question marks allowed for the All Star friend. Charity event, though. Yeah, no, that that is still this season. 
Yeah. Lil Zayo Sama, uh, 77. There's a lot of them. It's a long name. It's a confusing name. Whew. I got it off, though. Welcome to the LBLCS. Uh, you go to the Denny's up in Vermont, go around back, knock on the dumpster three times. Uh, Todd will let you in. Free pancakes. Eat them up. Ah, what the hell? Someone stuck on my chair. <laughs> Ten more. Wait, Sam wow. Stop. 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 <laughs> Stop is trying to get you oh absolutely smacked here. You realize how long have we been streaming? Uh, I think it started at what, 2 o'clock? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish five tonight. right now, by the way. Right now I'm going to finish five. So thanks, bud. Oh, uh, question. How can I join the LCS? Well, well, if we're talking to LCS, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to need to put a lot of games in a solo duo. Um, but for the LBLCS, thankfully... You don't. We're a bunch of uh, you know gold and plat players. Uh, probably worse. Uh, there should be a Discord link uh, down somewhere below. Uh, you hop in there. You fill out the little application. And I mean, we're we're just about to wrap up the current season, but there's gonna be some fun stuff happening in the off season. As a camp taking a lot of damage here. <clears throat> yeah, he dropped super low. Not as low as my BAC though. He's still up there. Wait, isn't your your BAC rising? Wait, I'm I'm no expert. But yeah. I feel like five and two hours should huh? be getting pretty high. No, nah, it's fine. Galson is good too. He seems Zebra making a point that TSM is leaving the LCS. I don't think that uh, the LB LCS has the budget to buy a team, but but I think that would be like really interesting if nothing else. Well, Mumu's uh, trying to find a budget for everybody else down here. Can he find Banish Toss onto these guys? The Exhaust is going to go into Virgin right there. Slothman taking a lot of damage. Can these guys get all the way back? There's still a cleanse they could use. A lot of damage actually from these minions. The cannons... Blocking them off and Jinx almost goes down. Yeah, that was that was super close. They got both the flashes out, which is good. Jinx still has their flash. They're gonna shove this wave out so uh, Galson and a camp can base. Overall, I think that's a good play for TVA. You get this Lulu Cog, which is a really vulnerable bot lane, into a precarious spot. But the the byproduct of that, Billa up here in the top side, gotta be careful if you're uh, your Rap Junior. He's just looking for camps. Oh, I'm frozen at 3:30. We we got I I got the same pause. Great. I'm back. I'm here. Sammy Two Slot making a great point here. Is he forcing you to drink so much alcohol so that you have no choice but to acquire his doctor services? No. He might have a PhD, but I got a PHB, a pretty huge brain, so I know I'm going to be fine. You know what I mean? I'm pointing at my brain. You can't see it, but. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big R <laughs> subtle looking. nod to my... yeah, I mean sure, look, man, you've had a you've had a drink you've had to drink a lot the last like twenty Good. minutes. I mean some of it my fault, some of it Sammy Two Slap well actually a lot of it Sammy Two Slap's fault. Um some menace. It'd be really nice if someone else kinda took the brunt of the irresponsibility. Maybe someone else cashed in uh you know some it takes twos. Are you encouraging them to make my life more difficult? Well, I, <laughs> or what's I, mean, I didn't. I didn't say that they have to cash in on you. I mean, I, I think it'd be you know a little funnier if they cash in on you. Well, but nobody's like nobody's cashing on this five, game because it's zero zero. Bring it a lot. Yeah, yeah, this has been a very slow game. Other than that, play bot, but they were able to get out. I don't like their cogma skin. It's gross. It's like rolls out a carpet. All right, Skyline saying, I bet all but 1k of my schmeckles for this one. Enjoy 10 seconds, Buggle Boot. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I think my favorite part about this, to be very honest with you guys, is that I don't have to. I, like the first couple of times I was counting, and then I realized, wait, there's a clock on my screen all the time. Flash forward, Flash bandage toss is going to connect a lot of damage. Versus it does get hit there, but doesn't get taken down quite yet. Can they find the kill onto him? He drops lower and lower. It's gonna explode though. He might blood. be able to pick up a kill. Might be oh. second blood to oh, a minion, minion blocks it one for one in the end. And the Kogma passive getting the kill back. So not not the end of the world. Obviously, it's great to get that first blood money on Jinx. You're going to be able to crash this wave, deny some more gold from the Kog'Maw. But you will take that. Uh, 10 for this uh, suggestion last year. That, that's valid, Gat Tatsu. I, uh, I fully recognize my role in this process, so I'll do 10. Him, the guy, just dream this means war, which means I'm going to take one incredibly biased take for the rest of this game. And that's that there is literally no better player than a camp. God, dude's a fucking genius. Okay, you have to take the opposite angle. <laughs> Tell dude, me a camp, a camp is actually so dog. I mean, <laughs> we're talking about someone who's playing in Japan. He's playing on 180 ping. This guy doesn't even know what's going on half the time. Like that's I've why he plays. Seen, I've never seen oh. someone be smarter than him. 
Ooh, getting the ghost out there from Andy Fraud. Uh, definitely, you feel good about that if you're Rap Jr. Uh, the ultimate's still on for Fiora, so that's a little dangerous. Uh, uh, the chat asking if Bugle wants more. It takes two redeems. Wait, I'm is that positive. the this means war that I have to start telling people that that's what I want? I'm confused. My brain only works <laughs> so often. Maybe at 2.30 you would have understood the question. Uh, <laughs> him... him him the guy is gonna have to have to clarify you breaking my brain i want them give them to me i've been paid by shreckles i have to obey you you are certainly uh preventing inflation right now there's been a lot of shreckles uh spent to Thank uh God. to kill me you know, your sobriety drop uh yes a camp actually is playing from japan uh pr the thing is it they are consistently at like 160 ping but it stays that way like consistently so it's not it's not like it pit, like spatters back and forth so they they just have to predict what's going to happen that's actually when... not too bad from the east coast yeah, i normally have 140 ping back when it was in like la or whatever mm -hmm. um so you know now that it's in chicago i think my ping's like 50 or 60 but i remember playing in season three and four uh on 140 things not too bad as long as it's not jumpy once it gets jumpy it's impossible that's when the problem started as long as it's jumpy billa trying to come in here without being seen they should be in the fog of war but damien is also in the vicinity so this this could be spicy if nothing else could also be nothing we'll have to see but panther Corps knows that damien is there because they have that super deep ward i can't even read Val's. I can't even read that. Yeah, that that's like too many ellipses. Uh, a lot of fights oh, happening. Of Bill taking Emilio. damage. A camp dropping super low. Virgil gonna flash forward. Is gonna pick up the kill right there. Out of them hits level six in that as well. So might start dropping those bombs back to the top lane where all the action is actually happening. Here comes an ultimate. Rap Jr. Can he find some CC? He does. Trying to hit him up almost underneath tower right there. But the ultimate getting dropped on him is Andy Fraud. Makes Rap Jr. have to back up out of that one. Two to one is the score though. And the entire kill, all the kills, all the deaths, it's all on Kogma is on Kogma that you'll take that kill again Lulu Kogma super strong at the moment uh we see him just going all that attack speed as a flash out from Blue Moon Jelly respecting the Amumu in the vicinity uh but not done yet a lot of damage coming through from Vagar. yeah still be looking for more Billa on the Raptor so if anything does really go south can just come on over and help out Oh, uh, so, so to clarify, him the guy said that when he did cash in that this means war, it was uh, on the assumption that you don't want to drink anymore. Oh, no. So then the this means war means that you do want to ask people to give you drinks. Guys, if you have any schmuck, here's the biggest thing about schmeckles. Right? You gotta spend them, okay? Mm -hmm. And one, the best way to spend them is to make me happy, make you happy. All right? So just spend them. Just spend your schmeckles, kids. All right? It's just like real dollars. It does no good sitting in a bank account. It actually literally does nothing unless you spend it. That's the only way those... Oh, thank you. That's very nice, Bear TV. <laughs> you get absolutely zero interest on your schmeckles. Right. So Spend them. Make me do more? things, you know? Spend them. Make a, make Boggle do another 10 seconds. Maybe another 40. Hell, if uh, every yeah. single person did 10, I'd do it all. And I'd, you know what? I'd get on camera at the end. Uh, very frightening with a very good point though uh seeing the big number get bigger that is actually uh that's a bit of a horror mentality but i do fully resonate with that idea. <laughs> it's a bit of a horror mentality oh uh, there's sammy too slap of... thanks sammy i wanted this the biggest thing about oh <laughs> there's another 10 from him the guy so you're up to 20. <sighs> all right first then next yeah. then here we go a lot of damage on blue moon jelly yeah 110 we're not we're not trying to kill bubble here I, I i don't think we're trying to kill bubble i could i could be wrong chat like let me let me know for please uh, don't this is. means more that please don't <laughs> don't make him start saying that we're trying to kill me Ugh. yes 10 for less val on my side right now dude uh, protecting you know me, what bro. I, I respect it, you know that that's uh that's my boss right there uh, Wait. on the uh, creative team. Bear TV, who are we? Who ten, that tends to who? Because I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say Les Force probably deserves it, but I want. I it. think he might muggle. I want it, so you know, please give it to me. Christ, I can't believe I just say this. Ah shit. 
Oh, uh, Raph Jr. a little bit of trouble. You're gonna have to call this. Yeah, Andy Frog going forward, trying to find some damage right now. That ghost is doing a lot of work. He finds the healing right there. Drops the repose, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't come off in the end. There's a rotation here from Amumu, but they see it early. Slothman trying to skip his way out of there. Should be safe on that side. In the guy, you're the one that encouraged us. What are you talking about? This was you were the one that cashed in. This means war. You're <laughs> you the make, one. You're making me cast this way. <laughs> uh, Bear, Bear TV uh, does not have my back in this instance. You know, I thought we were all in on the uh, anti buggle train. Yeah, not a not a good train. Well, for some maybe not good, but for some it's actually really good. For one specifically, that's for sure. They are on Dragon right now, top lane also. Andy taking a lot of damage. This is precarious. Oriana's not here, so there is a small window that uh, Damien could go in. But... Yeah, I've seen the seals roll. There's the flash forward. There's the Banished Shoss. Massive Curse that's had Money Verge is still alive. Trying to skate backwards right now, but should be taken down in the end as well. Trying to pop on these guys. Slothman, can you stay alive? I really nope. doubt it. Did have Flash, decided to hold it, didn't want to send him on a wild goose chase into their own side of the river. That's a 3 for 0 and should be... Second dragon in the game, but the first one for them for TVA. And then that was smart there. They they knew that Oriana wasn't there. They saw the three of them just stacked up. And, and I tried calling it before it happened, but just they got in the spot. I mean, they had that brief window where it was a numbers advantage. Amumu is a snap engage champ, and that's three kills in their pocket. That's a Rift Herald bot. More gold into this Jinx. I feel like I'm talking way too fast. Yeah, hey, that's that what happens, man. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. Uh, I need another drink. Another I love player. that train. I want the uh, screw buggle train. Is that what it's called? All aboard. Choo choo. Here we go. It's a good train. Teleport up to the top lane. It, it's the drinkies. I, uh, I concur, uh, Skyline. I couldn't have really put it better myself either. Queen Sue's finished on Kogma. That is going to be a lot of damage. It's going to be a lot of damage. Storm Razor for Jinx, though, also very strong. We see the Radiant Virtue come out for Amumu. Uh, I haven't played a lot of Amumu jungle, so I'm not... I don't know. It sounds, it sounds fine, you know. Uh, you go in, you know, create that engage. Has the Aftershock this time, which is nice. Last time went uh, Conqueror. Yeah. Fuck. I need another drink. Um, actually, wait, we need another, uh, it takes two, or do you mean, uh, I mean, I, beverage? Oh. I see that pour this into here really quick. I didn't spill anything. 100% didn't spill anything. Can you do this? I gotta get another drink. What? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there's an engaged top. Uh, Vagar on the move. Andy Fraud able to dodge the charm. Ultimate being popped though from Vagar. Gonna walk it up and... There's going to be nothing else there, but the flash in from Billa knocks him into uh, Andy Fraud. The flash away, but the ult from Fiora means that's going to be a dead Ari, and I think if you're a Rap Jr., you just got to get the hell out of here. I don't know if he's going to have much of a say in the matter, though. The W coming through from the Maokai soon. Ooh, going to walk out with just the slimmest of health. Uh, Sammy Two Slap asking, did Buggle ask for 10 more? Well, I, I sure think he did. I think... I think Buggle could not be more ecstatic that the train is continuing and that he is getting absolutely, uh... I think we're safe to say we're, we're probably teetering past, like, the point of tipsy, you know? I don't know if we're full-on, like, schmacked at this point, but we, we gotta be, like, somewhere on that train. Great play there, though, from Panther Core. Uh, they tried to get the advantage top. Try to catch out Andy Fraud, but build it in the right place at the right time. And despite how that fight uh, mid went, oh, massive ult ultimate right there. Curse the side moment is going to connect onto Virgin, trying to do damage underneath this tower right now. As Galson, massive rocket to make a death rocket in the back line. He's going to pick up a Lulu right there, but now it might be Virgin's time to go down because they did not respect the Jinx. They go to four and zero. Oh. That was so huge. I don't. You don't talk about supports doing things like that very often, but that was so heads up from a camp to flash in, exhaust the Kog'Maw, and then get the heal onto Damien so that the uh, the Kog'Maw doesn't get a kill in their pocket. And that just balanced up the gold. I was just going to say how despite that one play bot, Panther Core was up by quite a lot. Now it's completely even, and I feel like in this state of things, I would prefer to be even on the side of TVA. Okay, so I see I missed a 10. I have to do 10 more. But I also yeah, I have a fun little prize. <clears throat> Instead... You know, we're talking like, oh, you know, I got a nip. So I'm going to do this whole nip right now for 10 seconds. A, a Which means I'm just going to drink the whole nip. Uh, and that's for uh, Sammy. And I'm uh, cutting Sammy off. 
Sammy will no longer be allowed to give me any more drinks. I, I don't, I mean, I asked coming into the cast, what's the limit? And you said there is no limit. I, There's no limit to it. Sammy's done. Sammy's cut off. I don't think, I don't think that you can make Fine. that Fine, I'm though. doing this nip right now, Sammy. Oh, I camped in a lot of trouble there, though. Gonna just get burst out here. And this fight is not looking good for TVA. Fiora in on the back line onto this, uh, this RE. You gotta just try and walk this off. Try to minimize your, uh, your deaths. Ultimately, you only lose one, but that is also going to be the Rift Herald into the pocket to Panther Core. Uh, do the rest of the snip, and then I'm going to crack open the beer, okay? Uh, you got, you're got. you doing a great job right now. Super Mega Dead Rocket doesn't take it, does hit the Billow yeah, guy. I don't think play-by-play -play is my my strong suit, but you know we're, we're trying our best. I know you're out here drinking an awful lot. You know Sometimes the, the screen might be going a little faster than maybe the words can process, <laughs> or, maybe, or the brain can process. This is such a bad more. word to do alcohol in. Yeah, I don't like the nip in the middle. It's a bad choice. I just like I'm lower on beer, so like you know. I like that That's ten to me. You're back in charge. All right, I'm in charge. Here comes Harold being dropped here in the mid lane. As Damien's gonna go and curse the sideboard. He's gonna find two of them there to take that mid tower while all this is going on. Here comes Jinx. Oh, he, oh my God, a lot of damage on the Slothman. They go below half health, but now the rest have come. Andy Fraud into the back line. Can they escape these guys? Look at him burn through the back line of them. Andy to the rescue. Andy hands some more to the rest of his team, but Orn's gonna find the Orn Horn. Connect on two in the back line. Ari is there picking up some as well. Orniana picks up a Moo Moo while all of that is happening. Rapture is gonna get taken out. Get Blue Moon Jelly. Get out. They cannot. Another kill goes over. It's a two for five you know i was drinking that whole time but what a fight there just <laughs> panther core panther core are showing their chops here they team fight like no other team in the lblcs i think they they catch again it's just that first move i've said it time and time again this series just the ability to be the first on the scene okay. they have the numbers advantage uh damien thought that he had an angle on the kogma but version able to stay alive and that's now a dragon that's about 4,000 gold in favor as a, another wonderful uh, secure there by Andy Fraud. What's going on with Billa? He was so good at those smarts earlier. Now he's like not getting them. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a high pressure situation. You know, he's also maybe had a Coriander or seven at this point. Yeah. Got to gotta put that in consideration. We have a new hunk alert. Uh, can we get a check on who this is? Because you were the hunk, Buzzle. What but the I'm assuming fuck? this is going somewhere else. Someone just de-hunked me? So, uh, Mr. Uh, oh, I actually, I know there's a way to pronounce it, and I'm for sure gonna get it wrong. So we're just gonna go uh, a Frox, uh, from Panther Core, cash today. Little Fox Boy. Yeah, well, Ferox. I don't know. I don't know if it's a fox. Maybe it's a fox, but it's a it's a weird way to pronounce fox. Okay, bad fox boy. And, Who is it? Andy Fraud is the hunk. Oh, right, no that's surprise. fair. That's fair. I mean, did you see that secure on the, dra uh, the dragon there? <laughs> True, true. Without him, I could have just kept living. Small gold lead generated now, though, for PC. Yep. Got to be careful if you're Rap Jr. here. It's a long way to your tower, and there's a there's a Maokai and an Oriana hunting you down. Yeah, he's just going to back up. No, no real chase on those guys, but talk about the hunk up in the top lane, right? 500 gold bounty on him right there. Yeah. We know that this dude is one of the most feared top laners. You know, he doesn't always get a chance to showcase it. But even when we saw him on, like, the Scion game one, super strong on that. You know, was a massive problem. Thank you, And then Mr. last Ellis. game, yeah, Mr. Ellis, trying to, trying to get brownie points there. Yes, he, uh, he got him. <laughs> we see the Fiora this game. We saw the Yon last game. These carries, clearly, uh, Andy Gwen, one of the best that we have here. Or Andy Fraud, sorry. I, I know I keep the calling hunk. his uh, the hunk. by a dead name. It's the hunk now. Damien, playing a Moomoo all three games, really diversifying that portfolio. Now, the one fun thing about this game is we do have a really fun soul this time. All the plants are crazy different. We do. We absolutely, because he's some shenanigans, could set up some spicy engages for Damien. Yep. Uh, could get in on this uh, this Kog'Maw, which, again, I think the stat line doesn't indicate it, but Lulu Cog is still a massive problem to deal with. Gotta find ways to kill uh, kill Andy in the, uh, well, I guess currently he's in the bot lane, but you know, Andy in the top lane. Uh, does it, Sammy, did Buggle actually cut you off? Did, did he use some mod privileges to deny you? I didn't, but if someone else did, uh, great job. Because he could, oh, nice shockwave onto a camp right there. He's going to flash away and should stay alive, but that's a summoner spell down on him. 
Oh, but unfortunately for you, we've got a bit of a tag team situation going on. Him, him the guy saying, tell me when you want to cash it and I got you. Oh, God. Another early Baron start here, and, and TVA doesn't have any vision, might not have any idea. You see them walking in to that side of the map, and they see that a, a ward was just dropped. So maybe they have an idea, but I think it's <sighs> this is really Rap tough. Junior is going to find them, though. They know that they're on it right now. Here comes a well, teleport from the Fiora. Massive ultimate the Longhorn being dropped. They're going to find it as well. A couple of them knocked into the air. Damien looking aggressive. Baron is totally reset during this time period. Oh my god, maybe a little bit too far from Blue Moon Jelly. There's the ultimate from Maokai trying to keep these guys at bay. Locking a couple of them. Emilio's going to drop their ultimate. Keep everybody safe for a little bit longer. Massive push for this admin. Maybe going to find it. On to Maokai as well. Andy into the back line doing as much damage as they possibly can. Can they escape this? Can they get back out? A nice repose keeps them alive for a little bit longer. That's one kill on to Mumu. Another kill on to Orn. That's Cog that picks up that one. Billa drops super low. And Galson might actually be able to. Oh my god, they go over the wall. The polymorph from Lulu was massive. A camp is going to go down. PC are surviving by the skin of their teeth. Can they find this R to finish off the ace, or is this gonna be all that she wrote? Massive repost, not gonna matter though. Takes the blast cone over, and R is cones. safe. Oh, that was so close there. I mean, we saw it in game one where Virgil was so close by the Baron to getting a reset, and that fight could have looked totally different. Same thing there, just Andy Fraud just sitting on top of Gallison, not allowing him to get that first reset, really made that fight blow wide open. And now it's a 6k gold lead. We got Dragon coming up. A lot was burned there from TVA, so I don't even know if they can test this Baron, because that looks like what the move is here. All right, Sammy, like... here I go. They're going to go on to the Baron. I... It looks like uh, TVA is looking to just go for this Dragon instead, but it's not up for 20 seconds, so I don't even know if they can do it. It's... Uh... Definitely a little tough here for TVA. Super Mega Death Rocket is up. I don't see it coming in on the map right now, and it is going to be Bill that picks up that Baron for his team. Dragon is spawning in five seconds. Yeah. This is a tough spot. I don't know how they can test this Baron. I think... I mean, right now there's no uh, no any Gwen, so this might be the time. We're gonna be in trouble. Virgil starting to do some damage onto these guys. Here comes the ultimate from Rap Junior. to Ornhorn is gonna find two of them. Big catch right there, but they're gonna lock up the front line from these guys. Try to do everything they can while keeping a big distance. Virgil doesn't want to get too close. Damien could find him with a in from Ari right there. Almost finds the charm onto the Kogma. They're dancing with death right here as Fiora just pushes in the mid lane. <clears throat> has the Baron, has Baron empowered minions, looking for that first turret, flash forward, doesn't find the bandage toss though, Damien can't get these guys, can they catch him, a massive yeah, charm right there as well, means that Kogma is out of this one, but Andy Gwen, the hunk of the game right now, did take the first tower, hasn't taken, the oh my god, she's coming over here to fight, they're still gonna want to fight this, oh my god, so much damage onto Ari right there, Everybody should be going down right here. Blue Moon Jelly is going to be the first one. Andy is in the vicinity. Can he find a kill onto these guys? He can. He's doing a little bit of damage to Damien right now. Q from Ari is going to connect onto him. That's one kill. And I think Andy could just solo these guys. He just wants everything right here, especially if Slothman comes in. Gives him a little bit of help. There's a Polymorph onto the ADC. That's a double kill for Andy. I don't know if Emilio is going to be long for this world. Oh, just going to get ran down there. He's dead. I was trying to read chat there, too. I already did that 10 that I buggled. Wait, no, that bu this is buggled. Uh, that Sammy did. Sammy said buggled 10. I already did that one, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think you did the most. Well, I mean, it might not hurt to just, like, catch it in just in case. All right, um, I'll do it just in case. Yep. Yeah, and Andy Gwen is a massive problem this series. Uh, going to be really hard. I, this is a really tough game state for uh, TBA. They they had some solid looks there. It's <laughs> no, oh, sorry, Val. Val. I guess I got, no. I got one up on everybody then. Well, I don't know if you can, like, pay uh, in advance. <laughs> I think I can. I make the rules, so I think I can. Mm -hmm. Virgin getting caught there. That was the that was the difference in that that could have been a lot worse for the side of Team Volatility Academy if they didn't find Virgin there. But they need to be able to kill Fiora somehow. Nine zero and four. Yeah, this. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know how they kill this Fiora. It's so tough because you can commit everything onto the Fiora, but what the Ghost can just run it off, and then you still have this Monster Kogma, this Maokai that's gonna layer CC, yeah. and Orianna that can always 100-0 you at any given point. Uh, it is tough. 
Another. I didn't. Ch hold on a second. I'm. I'm in slandered in the chat. Yeah, you I didn't, tricked me. I didn't trick anybody. You tricked but me. I, regardless, I will take the ten. Thank you. Gotta keep make a fair game. Andy having a good game, going crazy bot right now, trying to fight on this Ari. Look at the damage that he does. But a massive curse. The sad money does connect. More damage coming down. He picks up one kill, and he's going to get a lot of healing inside of that ultimate as well. So much regen. Slothman is here to make him huge. Make him go crazy on these guys. Can he get a polymorph out? Can he get the damage on the right people here? Very low on mana. Goes the Amumu. Galson being shoved. Oh, my God. Slothman picks up that kill underneath the tower. Here we go. Can they find Damien as well? Oh, they do. Another massive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a problem, dude. Uh, yes, he is for sure a problem, and I think that he is going to be a problem for Hide Alert uh, next week. I, I think that uh, Panther Corps wants to end this game. They can simply do that, I think. Teleport Unfortunately, mid. Persia walking yeah. right through bot lane here. This is it. This is going to be the bad guys in final if they can do it. Can wrap Junior keep him at bay? Ari is spawning right now. They've got to hold on to this game for a little bit longer if they even want to have the chance. A nice repose keeps him safe for a little bit longer. Gets knocked into the air, but it's just these two against five. Here comes the rest of them. Can Jinx do the damage? Milio is here. A lot of hits right there onto Ari. She doesn't quite go down. Milio goes down in the front line. Here comes Damien. Getting chunked, absolutely chunked by Fiora right there. Does die in the end. Everyone is falling, and it will be PC in the finals. It is going to be Panther Corps versus High Alert. Panther Corps is for sure the villains here. These are the worst of the worst. You know, not only just the fact that they are the high seed, but they also took out my, my team. Yeah, uh, and frankly, yeah. um, you know, in all seriousness, any, any fraud absolute menace in really this whole series but especially in that game three there just was no answer from uh from tva uh into that fiora huge problem and that mm -hmm. is going to be we're going to see a group c rematch in finals as panther core is going to take on high alert and bear's probably sweating over there in community right now hotel liquor it's a good name uh, the hotels are like really nasty. I would yeah, that's imagine. a good name. It's a, it makes me feel emotions. That's a good name. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like the name. It's just a good name. Yeah. Like, I mean, have you ever seen those? Ten you know, for the road. Play? Fuck off, Sammy. <laughs> the, I mean, he cashed in. I think he got a Christ. Okay. Yeah, I think he got a cashed in. Uh, I, I don't know. In your inebriated state, there's been some requests for some interviews. I, I, I feel like a. A slight Fuck it, get him on here, let's go. I think, I think that could be absolutely bonker. Well, you're going to have to bring him in. I don't have those kind of privileges. Oh, who is there? Well, no one's in there at the moment. We'll have to see if anyone... Huh? Give me if you are on PC Ronin and you would like to come get interviewed, there yeah. was a request for Andy. Uh, I, guess, I guess I can... I'm a little sloth let me, boy, too. Let me... Let oh. me... Are you doing typings? Yeah, yeah, I just tagged because they're probably not Villa interview. Okay, I'll get him. Where is he? Where are they? <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh, Billa's sitting in community now. All right, I got him. Billa, you're on air. You're talking to everybody here at the LBLCS. How you doing, bud? I am doing amazing. How are you doing? Well, I'm pretty good. But you'll have to watch back the cast to know why. Um, You had some great Maokai games. Is that one of your go-to big boys, or did you just happen to pick it? Because I know you guys banned it away before. It's it's uh it's hilarious because the entire regular season it was banned out. I think every game except for one, and then it hasn't been banned in the postseason. And uh, it's like my best champion. So uh, <clears throat> write that down. Finals, write that down. Highlight. Write that down. I just want to let you know it is my best champion. Clearly, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's just something I'm very comfortable on and works for for what kind of team comps you want to play. So yeah nice dude well you had a freaking hell of a game what was uh comms after like game one when you guys got taken down i mean honestly we were looking at the results and we were only like three or four k down for most of that game yeah. so despite the kills being like 10 15 20 difference like we were able to stay in the game a lot more and i think for that reason it was like okay yes we ended up losing the game and it was kind of ugly but we were we were getting objectives and we were able to take some towers and like we were never like we never felt like it was doomed. It was more like, okay, well, that's game one. We tried something else and uh, it didn't work like we wanted mm -hmm. it to. So we were just like, okay, well, we'll uh, 
we'll drop something different and end up working in the second, third games. Before Les Force has a couple questions for you, got one last big one going into this finals match against High Alert. Do you guys understand that you're the villains? Like you understand that you're the bad guys. What what makes us the bad guys? Just because, like theoretically on paper, right? Like the the no other two seeds cool. were this were like the underdogs, and you mm. these were the two top dogs. It was like you're a top dog. TVA was a top dog. So you got top dog versus an underdog story. You know, so I've been casting you as the villains for weeks, even though I don't know you personally. Um, so how do you, you know feel what? about like- me casting you as a villain? I love the villain arc. I think it's great. great. Everyone everyone gets their hopes high that they can beat us, and then we just crush them under yes, our feet. Yes, yes. feel better about ourselves. Powerful villains. All right, let's force. For sure. Uh, taking on that heel role, I mean, I think that's going to make for one hell of a final. Uh, I guess now that you know that you guys are going to be going up against High Alert, I guess, like, can you... They're in Did chat. Play? They're you know, listening. They are. They are in chat. So you know, maybe, maybe you know, play into that villain role a little bit. But uh, yeah, you know, how I mean, did that series go? The first time you guys played against them, have you tuned into these playoff series that have been streamed? Like, how do you think? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Go? Like, our whole group, we actually just destroyed them. So they're just kind of just another team that happened to be there. And oh, what a villain! I guess we're just gonna crush them again. Oh, I love this villain. He's so villainous. <sighs> Keep going. Yeah, actually, course. evil. Uh, completely playing into. I don't remember if it's the the evil grandmother the stepmother but whoever that is from cinderella you are fully putting on those shoes right now yeah uh, i mean honestly like I, I i don't know what what else to ask i mean here's how i know he's a villain man, too because billa in game one stole two barons the yeah. dude's a criminal dude he took two i of mean them. how are you feeling after gonna those me, you're gonna let me e out and flash like e in and flash right out just i mean like you're just giving me free objectives it's fine with me I mean, it's, were you guys it's losing your mind breaking. in comms? What was comms like when you were still the second one? It was when you were talking about after. We literally, Baron was coming up, and I'm just like, yeah, guys, I'm going to steal it. And we're all like, okay. And there was no comms. <laughs> there was nothing. I just walked up and stole it and ran away. And the same thing happened the second one. I'm like, hey, I'm going to take it. And then everyone's like, okay. And then we just third, went over and third, took it and came back. The third back, time so. was not the charm, though. No, uh, unfortunately. Well, it's hard. I'm pretty sure Vigar queued it. Like, he killed me with an ult that was like 2,700 damage. So I think he queued the Baron for like, that half almost as died. much as a smite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like I'm getting out smited by a Vigar Q, so that's it's a little or a Vigar W, so I can't outsmite that. Hey man, I liked I liked you playing, like watching you. You're one of my favorite villains. Um I like your whole little evil team that you guys got going on. I'm excited to cast the finals when you guys play it. Uh, I don't know how exciting it would be when we uh, crush them 2-0. So. Oh, he's such a villain! Oh, it's, a, it's a best of five. So you have to win three times. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Crush them 3-0. Okay, okay, okay. See if we can beat uh, the speed run they did in finals. A couple I don't years know. Ago, if this isn't a piece of advice to the rest of chat to be rooting so damn hard for uh, for high alert when they come on, whenever they schedule the game this week, you know these guys were saying how they're scared. You know they were they would say it was a blessing if a uh, Panther Corn lost this this series. Uh, they were hoping for TVA, uh, but you know they they were also giving you guys props and you were here just actually uh, putting them in the dumpster. Well, no, you know, I here's. Uh, a testament to Billa for really diving into the villain role. Yeah, I mean, it's really a commitment to the bit, you know. Yeah, you gotta... no, I appreciate. That. Oh, it's not. It's not a commitment to the bit. We're just, <laughs> He's just a we villain are. in real life. That's all we are. Like, <laughs> we're just ready to win. Dude, this guy would make Always. a great uh, heel in like WWE. Just like even even you know yes. interacting with fans and stuff outside the fact, you know, just just you know, staring the kid down, ask for an autograph, like shove him in the face. Like I can totally see a oh, Billa yeah. doing something like that. Billa, I am so proud of you. No mercy. Yeah, no mercy. Thank you for coming on for the interview, Bill. I very much appreciate you as a human being. Good win today. Thank you for having me. All right, man. Have a good night. All right, guess what time is it? It is 4.37. I am way too hammered for 4.37. All right. If you're uh, fucking uh, sticking around, we're guessing. When is the next one? Plus fours? Uh, 8.30. uh, 7 o'clock. I think we're going to have some people in community to watch the executive finals. And then 8.30 is the streamed uh economy finals and there's going to be a play-by-play updates uh as to how that economy series is or executive I'm series going not in charge of any of that but Gosh. someone else will be is what i'm thinking that's really a travesty to be honest that uh that you're, you're not going to get to continue casting i could have gone another like three games with uh with you in this current state <laughs> i'm glad that you could have i'm not sure that sammy two slats gonna be allowed back in this chat anymore when i'm casting well is look it... now that the, now that the series is over you can enact a uh you know a per person limit on uh the, it takes twos i could maybe you know what i'll do 
to combat inflation, can I like set it personally for Sammy Two Slap so it's always ten percent? Wait, no, then he'd always be able to do it. Fuck. Yeah. You're gonna have to like make it a really high price for him. Fuck. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right, guys. Uh, Les Force is gonna sign us off. He always says four words in a row three times. Go ahead. Time for bubble snap.